something about that music Make you wanna clap your hands Uh-oh, I feel it, y'all Anybody feel it? Let me hear you scream if you feel it about the music, hey, make you smile when you want to cry, something about the music, hey, when you're feeling bad, makes you lift your hand real high, something about the music, oh yeah, hey fellas, y'all help me say, something about the J.D. Davis Funeral Home, dedicated, dignified, and distinguished. Located 6709 West Capitol Drive. Offering pre-planning and affordable full-service packages. Accepting all insurance, including private pay. In your time of need, call 414-527-6000. That's 414-527-6000. Blessing 
always stop and pray learn to keep on believing and faith WGLB AM 1560 96.1 FM W241 CI Milwaukee Save in the City is your destination talk show for kingdom solutions to real world issues through candid discussions designed to empower, improve, and inspire you to live a more enriching life. It's where we explore real issues and engaging topics from church culture to world culture and everything in between. And now, your host, Iberia. What's up? What's up, Milwaukee and the world? Welcome to another episode of Saved and the City Radio Show right here on WGLB AM 1560, 96.1 FM. Yes, you are locked in to the right place at the right time for your kingdom solutions for real world issues. And you know, I got to take a moment to shout out to Elsie Flanard. Like he, he's the voice that you hear uh, every time the Save the City uh, radio show comes on. And he's actually the person uh, that when I left radio for the first time that got me into podcasting. And now that I'm back in the radio, he's still a big part of my life and everything that I do um, in terms of um, uh, media and connections in that way and so I'm always appreciative of people and and I would encourage you guys to be appreciative of the people that you find along the way who are loyal who are committed who actually believe in you right because it it can be crazy out here so if you find good people treat them right treat be kind to people you know because you never know when you're going to need them again in the future so I'm appreciative of that relationship but y'all I'm also appreciative to be able to to chat and 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 talk to you guys every Friday. We got the crew in the house. What's up, y'all? What's Everybody yeah. feeling good? Y'all hear that voice? Oh, oh, come on. We all we got. <laughs> and I think I hear a little bit. You in the building. What's going down? Oh my gosh, you reach you back. Yes. <laughs> you back. But I'm still here. Oh, wait a minute. And Mia's like, but I'm still <laughs> I mean, we ain't gonna forget you. You know what? I cannot I can't just call Mia Mia. Like I feel so disrespectful. Oh, really? Cause oh. I cause I like for, for for me, I can't just call you Mia. It always comes out twice. So it's, it's always Mia, Mia Mia, but it's Miss Mia for you. Yeah, okay. because I had like I went to high school That's with her son. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, bro, if it's I, my business. I, but it is your business, but my mama's not about to get me. Me for being no. disrespectful. Okay. Right. You miss me uh, oh, with all due yeah. respect, respectfully. <laughs> and you gonna stay that. I yes. love and it. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Amen. Listen, my I was thinking about there was this uh there was this thing I saw a, a while ago of Maya Angelo and she mm. was um, she was doing a speech to, it was a, a, I think it was like a group of college students. Oh, and that. this uh, woman uh, stood up, it was a college student, young woman, mm-hmm. and she said, she, she addressed her and just said, Maya. She was yeah. like, well, Maya, what do you Ooh. think about blah, blah, blah? And mm. th- yes. they couldn't even get to the question. Yeah. Ma- yeah. Maya was like, she, she, well, first of so all, in so many yeah, words. She was so cold. In fr- and in so many words, she was like, first of all, don't you ever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't you ever. Exactly. Like, she was like, address me. She was like, because no. Because we're getting too comfortable. Ex- These millennials. Millennials is getting too comfortable. And I, apparently it's been for a while because Maya, that was years ago, you yeah, know. No, for real. And I don't like it. And but and so I appreciate that. Put for some real. Come put some yeah, respect I on. Right, we've been through some things. Yeah. Okay, yeah, put exactly. a miss, put a miss on my name. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Put that a handle on it. So yeah. while we're at it though, you know, so crew check-ins, how's everybody feeling? <laughs> Sharice, let's start with you since we haven't, you know, you've been I, out and about. Yes, I'm back. I was I was under the weather a little bit, yeah. y'all. Don't be trying to say I got the Rona, because I ain't had a Rona. <laughs> she didn't have a Rona. I, it's like, bro, we can get sick. Why can't now? we? <laughs> Baby, when I tell we you, I coughed today. I coughed today at work and. Uh, like literally, my my boss came out and was like, "Well, what's wrong with you?" And I was like, "Dude, Everything like literally, wrong, like, I had my mask. It was hair in my mouth." I said, "Please, can I just right. not swallow hair?" Like, like bro, right. like everybody, yeah, like, you can't even have allergies. But I was under the weather last week. I'm feeling much better. I'm still a little tired, but yeah. you know, I really missed y'all, and oh. I had to get out here. But I've been doing good. I think uh, the Lord has been speaking to me. You know, He gets yeah. you when you be down. Don't like, he? Oh, yeah. You can't get He's out like, your oh, bed, huh? Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> sure I, I'm gonna heal you, but right before that, hold on, let, let me, me say I this got, real quick. Hold on, yeah, and he just been dealing with me in my emotions, in my yeah. integrity, mm-hmm. um, 
And and y'all know what? Y'all don't like to talk about this, but I seen a post. He and, and, and maybe I'm busting myself out by saying this, but he's been dealing with me in the area of jealousy. Mm. Mm. Because nobody likes to admit like Oh, I'm jealous. But a lot of times, like, nice people, like, like I got a big heart and I love people and I root for people. Yeah. But you don't <laughs> know, like, jealousy can creep in very oh, small. And wow. it doesn't mean you hate the person. Yes, yes. It's, just, it's just sadly a part of life now because you always see everybody up. Mm-hmm. Wow. Right, because so, social yeah. media exactly. allows you and to that's only what you show see. your heart. And, and I was taught growing up, don't brag. You know, yeah. that that'll make you arrogant or stuff yeah. like that. But really, let's just be honest, all Facebook is is bragging. Right, oh, right. And, and, wow. and, and, wow. and as, wow. much as, I, as much as I want to say, like, it's not bragging. I like to say highlighting. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and, and that's a good, and that's a great thing because we have to learn that good medium there it's a difference between right. bragging and um deflecting glory Ooh. and so god was kind of working with me on that because he was just like girl you see these people and, and some of these people got stuff that you want but don't let yourself get there yeah don't let yourself that. get there exactly. and and i'm glad that he called me when he did because it probably could have got there and i low-key probably would have been hating on people that i needed to connect with for the stuff that i wanted Ooh. and so yeah wow. that that been me that i couldn't part. even i couldn't even be sick off my little medicine and go to sleep <laughs> i was like lord hold on let me just go to sleep well, why this medicine not kicking me in <laughs> I'll be like trying to bury the head, like no, Man. Lord. Like, I want to hear you, but can I just? But yeah, oh. that's that's where I've been, and I um I purchased this book by R. T. Kendall, mm-hmm. um the the secret sin of jealousy. Mm-hmm. So if y'all okay. want to read up on that, I go get it. I purchased that, that, and I purchased the book on um all. It's called All the Fields. It's a Christian based book, so it's good. So uh, I bought some books, yeah. and yeah. Come on, I'm here for it. And there's a couple things that you said that just kind of stood up because I've been dealing a lot like, with the different things that I'm doing, like my my singles ministry. We're uh, on a fast, and one of the things that has come up is dealing with the areas of emotions. Mm-hmm. And so even in you know outside of just emotions, just like the the other things, the cousins that are connected to it, like jealousy, mm-hmm. you know, and then getting to that deeper mm-hmm. root of it. But the thing is, if we don't if we don't um, I identify and acknowledge, exactly. like you said, all of the emotions, the good and the bad, yeah. then we won't know when we're when we're actually operating out of jealousy yeah. and pride because or, no, or, or when it's healthy and that. I'm just being confident. No, you don't right. want you don't yeah. want to admit that you can be jealous. Like all humans can be yeah. jealous. The I mean, Bible, yeah. God, the Bible can, God tells, said he's jealous. And, and, jealous and I God. saw your post about that. I was like, can we have good jealousy? Absolutely. There's a jealousy oh, yeah. that, that motivates you to be better. And I call it inspiration. Right. But <laughs> But then you have the Bible tells us like rejoice with those who are rejoicing mourn with those who are mourning mm-hmm. it's easy for me to cry with you when you crying cause like we all feel pain Yeah. but we don't all experience highs at the same time so it takes Ooh. a little more grace can and I open can I experience your high when I'm at my lowest to, to enjoy wow. can I enjoy your high with you when I'm low Ooh. So Brother John B. taught Come us, on, get it out your mind, because it's jealousy. <laughs> Not Brother Listen, John B. Bishop John B. They don't. Now, play yes. that on the next music break. Oh, wait, we can't do that. We can't wait a minute, this is the gospel love. We can't do that, okay. <laughs> What's up, Steven? What's going on? What's going on? How you feeling? I'm, I, I, you know, you get to a point in your life where you enjoy your own character. And certain things Ooh, you laugh at. I like it. Like, my life got threatened this week, and it was funny. That's not funny. <laughs> no, no let me tell you how. It is funny. So, like, an uh, old friend yeah, caught up with me. Yeah. Like, a okay. female friend. You know, oh, how you doing this and that? And apparently, like, a few hours later, like, her boyfriend called and was like, if you if you value your life, you want to wow. talk to my baby mama. And I'm oh, like, you have, you have these hood book. moments. Exactly. You have these yes. outer body hood moments. Like, do I go get dude or do I just say, <laughs> Y'all ain't seen the lip. The you. lip went up on the side. Like, that was so gangster. <laughs> the ice cube lip. <laughs> the ice cube lip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The like, you outer have, body yeah, you gangster. Do, right. No, you have these moments where yeah. it's like, your ego is like, let's check dude real quick. Not but it's like, real. sir, I'm not even on that. Y'all be well. I'm, that's a friend. I'm Come hoping on, be the well. best. Yeah, and just leave it there. And he got on the camera, and he, yeah, he FaceTimed it. Oh, yeah, but me, you, me, 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 and they hung up. It's like God. I, I, it's, <laughs> right. I, I'm gonna Don't say this. I'm gonna say this. Mom is like father. It's your like people. no, true. <laughs> but it's like this insecurity spirit with a lot of men Come in Milwaukee. On, I'm gonna say, say it that, for real. Steven. Where it's like they no, get this it's ownership, and it's like, dude, it's chill out. Like you don't own her. Like Go, she you, has a you, life. You don't own me. Like, yes, you have a baby. But something about but, her like it. 
I'm gonna say that something about mm, her would probably say. like it. She her, did like that because some saying? females like that because Uh-oh. they want to feel validated. Exactly. So if you stand up and you'll fight for me and you'll get jealous over me, listen, listen, baby. Let me tell you something. Talk about Let me it. Tell you Man, uh-oh, you, you want to secure me. Yeah. <laughs> you do. You want to secure me because your relationships are not strictly just going to be females. Okay. Mm. And so if he got a problem and he insecure with every male that you speak to, you're going to mess up a lot of opportunities exactly. for yourself. Wow. Exactly. But and, and wow. So get out of your own way because you because what's happening is that she needs that validation to feel, like you said, uh, secure and to feel like, oh, she's loved or what have you. And so I'll be darned if I, if I need a man to forward. validate me, period. Okay. Say okay, that takes time so and both of them go heal somewhere, and yeah. I send him the book link. Oh, <laughs> somebody <laughs> jealous. But you got to be oh, careful because he risking his life. And praise the Lord. Well, and, well, 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 but Tej, I'm just keeping your seat warm, honey. Uh, <laughs> oh, he'll be calling in. Yes, um, yeah. So um, I just want to. Uh, I'm, I'm living. I'm in God's abundance this week. Ooh, you you better. Better. It's a little. It's a bit of a glow on you, and honey. I need you better to sit shine. next to her because I need the overflow. Yes, yeah. and I, I promise you, I'm, I, and it's not even nothing special. It's Come not on. that life any jelly jam or anything like right. that. But yeah. that. God is good, and oh, uh, right, sure. and I know we're gonna talk about inauguration and all that, but yes. I just want you know what I want to talk about is that it's a lot of glass ceilings being broken, oh. and I'm like, and you you know just so that silly that um, jealousy doesn't creep in, I'm like cheering for all my sisters, and mm. you know, and there's um, a referee, a female referee, gonna referee the Super Bowl. Yes. You better. I'm so excited, true. but because it's too cold for that. Ooh, you better think about something real quick. Yeah. I just shared this post. <laughs> The other day, and it says you can't compete against me because I'm rooting for you, you to win. Exactly, and that's true. Wow. we're not even in a competition. Okay. I, I want but, that quote. Because yeah. I want, I want you to win. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. But you know what was so exciting, even about with all these women win. Um, but I, I was so geeked at the honor of um, Vice President Harris' husband. Yeah. Oh, that's a whole stuff. I appreciate that. The, 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 the men, you know, we, I, I want to uplift our men, not only just our brother, yeah. but men alone. Yeah. Thank you, brothers in the room. Thank yeah. y'all. Yeah. Because cool. Doug, Mr. Uh, second Gentleman, Doug. Second, <laughs> second <laughs> yes. Vice. I want to get into that. Too, second Vice. Yes. We'll get into that. And, you know, <laughs> he gave up a, a, a career in that he's not even threatened. And that's why I really don't believe in that, oh, this, you know, I don't have me. a man okay. because they threatened me. by my. Um, that's you know, me. Keep going. Going. exactly. Me. You know, <laughs> and so I know that you know there's a husband out there for me. He's not threatening about okay. how wonderful, how great hey. I am. If because you listen, I am. And you listen. This man is cute. <laughs> I come on here for okay. the dating show. Y'all don't know oh, my business. Y'all don't. Y'all, we should. Don't, y'all, don't, y'all, don't, y'all, y'all know my business. So I don't know your business. I would y'all, like that. Oh, let's let's do it. There. Let's I'm gonna say this before we go to break, real quick. We're gonna come back and talk about the inauguration and a few other hot topics. But I do want to give y'all our overall theme, you know, <laughs> for where we are, you know. But all of this is good. It's all kind of in alignment because you know, no matter where we are, you know, or how we're feeling throughout the day, the encouragement that, that I want you guys to take today is just to get up and move forward, yeah. right? Yeah. We're not going back, right? Exactly. We're moving <laughs> forward, right? right. And so right. Um, I've been listening to Pastor John Hanna, and that's uh, been mm. a lot of what I he's been talking about. I love him. What he's been talking about is moving forward, climbing the mountain. He was he was saying, you know, where are my mountain dwellers at, right? And so mm. in that, when you get to a certain level of the mountain, going back down is not an option, you know? I'm already it's here. Not. Let's keep going that's to good. the top. So we're going to go to our first break, and we'll be right back with your hot topics after this. Let's go. Uh-huh. And this song is for those that know without a doubt in their mind. <laughs> God has rescued you from something. Don't tell your business, but look at somebody and tell them, I made it out all right.
Are back. You are locked live to the Saved in the City radio show right here on WGLB 1560 AM, 96.1 FM with your girl Iberia and the Saved in the City radio show crew. Yes, we out here. Okay, come on. I'm so ready for these hot topics. We kind of started to <laughs> uh, to move into them a little bit on our way out, talking about the inauguration. There's no way we can have a show and not talk about the inauguration. Right. I mean, how, right. how did y'all feel on that day? I mean, I was very emotional. Same. Same? Like yes. In a good way? Too. Or like... I felt like it was like a sense of optimism. It did. That it did came give across me, that. me. And I was like, there's hope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there was a weight lifted. Felt good. There was yeah. a weight lifted. Yeah. It was, it was a split for me. I, I, I love what was going on, but I was worried about the capital cuckoos. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I know they had plans because and all that. Just, yeah, it's like, but the blood. Okay. I'll say it. People was praying. People oh. was praying. For sure. They had to be praying. I mean, there, yeah. there's so much that I mean, there's so much that we could say. Anybody have a favorite part that stood out? The clothes, but um, okay, <laughs> I know that's why I was like, so for, for our, 
WGLB, WGLB yes. listeners, uh, Tej Boone, our creative coach, will be calling in to give us uh, a full rundown <laughs> of <laughs> uh, of that's the outfits I'm, and, and all of the different things that made its its grand appearance at the inauguration. So yeah, but we can talk a little bit about it. I know those outfits. I said they, somebody mm. said they was the uh, Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> it was, like, I wonder who did what? choose that like right. one and color. They, said, right. they put them together. Talk about a uh, Democrat's child, like Destiny's child. Yeah. <laughs> but I was I here for it. Be a group. I was here for I all was of here it. For it. They <laughs> was they was doing it. Okay. What about the performances? Like J Lo got a lot of slack. Like I saw mm. that a lot of people were. Co- well, I don't know. People be coming for J Lo so hard because she went into they her do. native like tongue. Well, but I, that's I part that of like America. That. I thought that was nice. No, they, they, they come for her yeah, because of her point. voice. They don't think that she can sing. Yeah, I was say a lot of people mm, think no, she's not talented in that yeah. area. But yeah. I mean, no, she, just because <laughs> she's not going to be like a Jennifer Hudson or somebody that's going to squall in the mic that, or something, <laughs> yeah. doesn't mean that she, she can't, can't sing. She can carry she a She can hold a note. She's an entertainer. And I love her package. She's an entertainer. And I thought, how fitting was that? I mean, she represents the Latin community. Exactly. And the whole time, Trump was mad at the Latin community. That's what so I'm it saying. So it was kind of like an in your face. Right. And That's so I was. appreciate right. it. And then she openly spoke in her native tongue. Somebody said she went up in tongues. <laughs> Child, you know? I was like, wait a second. The Lord is here. Well, oh, never mind. That's Spanish. <laughs> so you already know the, inter- the, the internet is- has... The internet has had its way yes. and yes. literally yes. had like he like organ music going and then had her up. I said Play yes. So much. Um, Wait, I was here J-Lo. for uh, Uncle Bernie. Yes, he Uncle said, Bernie. Listen, I'm gonna go because y'all take it too long. Y'all could have emailed me. First of all, I feel like all week, I, like the way Bernie Sanders was sitting, his high been sitting all week, like in my no, spirit. For real. Like I really just been, but I, you know, it's like why can't we just have something and just let it be? Like it maybe it was cold, Uncle Bernie. He was giving me yeah. a older. I don't, think, I don't think that was the intent. But he is the new Where's Waldo, though. <laughs> like, and all the memes. I really think that all he the was memes. happy. But you got to think, like, he older. And it was cold. It, it was, was cold, cold yeah, out. Yeah. Hurting them joints. But these memes is priceless. I'm not even <laughs> they gonna They're creative. I'm here for it. And, and, it does, like and sometimes it's that, it's that fun <laughs> shade, which sometimes I don't mind fun shade. Like, yeah. when it's like, okay, we're just having fun with it. It's just when it starts to yeah. get, like, God, Two, okay. yeah. 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 Next week yeah, it it's gonna get on my nerves. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah, right, I'm and that's you. the other I'm thing. Let you. it die down, you know, a little mm-hmm. bit, you know. But there, there was so much to be able to pull from, you know, when we're thinking about the inauguration, and even with the performers. Like I remember, like the first country singer I ever liked when I was little was Garth Brooks. <laughs> oh, exactly. Oh, right. I was just like, oh, Garth Brooks. You know, he's like old now. I mean, what well, made not old, it so know. good was that Garth Brooks is known as a Republican. Correct. Correct. That's correct. Yeah, so little, that was a those significant. Those things they were yeah. putting in there. Exactly. Okay. It showed some unity. They did and then right. even that, he was like, forget COVID-19. He hugged everyone, the mm-hmm. Clintons oh, and the uh, President oh, Obama. I yeah, want that to was know. Buzz. You said, that's not you so know, great. You have, like, a wedding or you have an event, like, okay, let me hire an event planner. I want to know who the event planner was. Okay. Mm. Because I know they was running around there with their head. <laughs> with their little head. <laughs> Where's Michelle? Michelle is your ass controller. Yeah. Where is <laughs> when, uh, first of all, can I tell you that my Michelle, her her hair was mm. everything. Come it was on. buttery it curls. Was, it you. was. I enjoyed it, Obama but I was telling Miss Mia that uh, they fine. could they could have threw her some edge control on. <laughs> and I'm natural, oh, so I'm not judging. Who could have some edge control? Uh, they, <laughs> Michelle, they could have gave a little more. She they didn't could, need no edge she control. Did not need they any. put that shea butter of uh, edge <laughs> control on her, and they could have got her some hair. <laughs> y'all better get some care. Okay, and that's the difference. That was for the natural. Look, she couldn't exactly. have the, the I little mean, that's girl. why I was still for it because I was like, okay, I'm you natural. You gotta be too. the natural, yeah. Listen, today, if y'all send me on camera, y'all gonna get these naps, and that's oh. just period. <laughs> okay? and get these naps. Like nice. in the back of my head, and, and, and what about it? But y'all could have gave sis some more. What did you think about the young lady with the poem? Amazing. Mm. Amanda oh, Gordon. I just yeah. feel like, uh, Stephen like, like, is biting yeah, his tongue. Don't and he Steven. has lots You didn't like it, Stephen? It was okay. I, I'm going to be real with you. I think <laughs> I, like I think Steven. black Twitter hypes up a lot of stuff. They I'm sorry. Do. It was good. I'm but then when like, you heard people compare it to, like, Maya and stuff, I'm like, y'all tripping. But that's the like, problem with it's society. Compare, it's, it's, Stop comparing. Yeah, don't compare. It was not. It was, the, the words were but meaningful. It matched the moment. But. It was like uh, maybe maybe I'm not good with poetry, but it's like it just didn't hit me like that. Hold on, but like, oh, wait, oh, Steven, nice. you didn't put a handle on Miss Maya Angelou. Oh, yeah. excuse, yeah. excuse me, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. You're right, you're right, you right. right Miss Angelou. She's, she's Miss only 22. Like, isn't she only 22? Oh. She's 22 years old. She's only yeah. 22, so she True. probably has a lot of growing. So here's the thing. Yeah. This is why it's important because what sometimes it's not about us. 
The, right. But for her to be compared, for right. what that did for her, yeah. wow. That's be, cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. sometimes it's like right. we, it's a sometimes pressure. we have, everybody wants to make it about them. I don't understand. And why did da, 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 da. No, I love my, nobody cares about you in this moment. Right. This is her opportunity true. to rise. Uh, Oprah gave her a special ring to wear. Like oh, pulled her aside, oh, wow. and, and it was something to do. Just change that girl life. Exactly. Do you understand? She got a job. And so, offer. and let me tell you, let me tell you right college. now, when things like that happen, oh, I'm gonna yeah. tell you that sister been through something. Yeah. We may mm-hmm. not know what it is, mm-hmm. but when you when when God elevates you like that, no, something. Real. I'm telling you. Oh yeah. So I'll be like, ooh. Single parent home. Okay. You know, we so don't have to know all. She her went stuff, to Harvard, but, yeah. but and you know what kind of discrimination and things that happen at Harvard. Yeah, you and know, that's what I love. Yeah. See, the thing is, God will reward you publicly, and people oh, will be sure. like, "Why?" Da, 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 da. We don't have to know what it is, but I bet you it's, it's something. It's and it's her business, and I would have been up okay. there shouting. Uh, as soon as Oprah gave me that, hey. and what and the other thing is, so it's a lot of times it's what people represent. So she oh, wasn't, just say. she yeah. wasn't, and I'm not coming to get your your opinion. No, no, I no, love no, no, that. No, no, no. I actually love no. that you didn't like it. You know, because I love when people. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't dislike it, like you said, and I agree with you that it represents something more. So the fact that she was able to speak in front of the whole country. That's huge. The opportunity is huge. A, a so little you, black girl. Yes. Dark skin. A, nappy and, head. And you gotta like, realize, all of that. For, not, even, not even 60, year, not even 60 years ago, what did she couldn't say? even go to school with people. Because it do matter. And because cause <laughs> nappy is beautiful. Because it matter. It mattered to the whole country. Yeah. Like, like she got to have, like, we, you hear we all here talking about edges. You know what I mean? Like the whole thing matters. So it's like, like people will talk about her. And you think about what, what was that uh, Olympic star? That I mean, Miles. it Gabby was a Dominic Dawson. Da- no, you talking about Gabrielle? Um, Gabby. I don't. I can't remember her name, but I remember it that girl that would be breaking yeah. all the records, and everybody oh, had something Biles, to say. Oh, Simone Biles. Oh, Simone. everybody yeah, had something yeah. to say yeah. about her hair. It was Gabby. Exactly. But you know what? And that's yeah. the thing about it is that when people get focused on what their mm-hmm. their purpose is, yes. I don't care what they my edges care look like. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I'm it was about it. Exactly. Back to the whole layout, and I don't care if these yes. little tracks are showing because I'm getting paid. Okay. okay. <laughs> now come on, you on your tracks don't have to be showing. But she said you went too far. You went too far. She said wait, wait. We have to The gag is she set a trend with showing tracks. But you guys think about. Think about when Rihanna it. all of a sudden she she did those clips that whoop, whoops I'm about to lose my whole those, everything okay you're good, you're good. <laughs> those yeah, clips yeah. that uh, she had start wore around her head that we normally wear under the dryer she mm-hmm. made it like fashionable uh, at the at the Grammys like like True. girl you forgot to take your clips off oh that's the fashion okay. And because you, that's, everybody that's who she it. was. But see, you couldn't wear it, Brandy, because you ain't there yet. But right. next year, this time, you can wear it. Okay, oh, <laughs> listen. But I might wear it right now. I hate what that about you it? gotta be at some type of status to participate. Mm. In but you don't. Trends. You do not. But the thing I'm is, you don't. Without I agree persecution. With you. But you I don't. But, but that's the thing. If you really want to set a trend, you do just it do it. I mean, half half the time, sometimes. Those that really set, well, sometimes, sometimes it is on purpose. Other times, people just be like, this is what I like. Yeah. And, then it's and, and that's who I am. I, I, I do things just because I'm me. Say it. I'm original, and I don't really care what anybody say. I don't know if that came with age. Or, no, it probably came from the <laughs> ridicule cool when I was seven years old. I, I came from a tough family. You, you had to have tough skin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Really? When your, yeah, yeah. They were real. My well, like mama. They have real sessions. That's that comparison <laughs> that's stuff. Again. Yeah. Exactly. And that's it. That you have to be comfortable in who you are and what's wrong. <laughs> Why can't we? Oh wow. Okay. Why can't we, oh, wow. okay. can we normalize that? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> that you know, being it's okay. Just that's who you is. are. Just a be. A lot of us yeah. can't, and that's the struggle. A lot of us are struggling to find our identity because we're too busy being compared to people and wanting to be like other people instead of just being a willing vessel. Yeah. But okay. the, but are we overly critical as far as the culture, you think? Mm-hmm. We absolutely. are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, oh, because that was I, a universal. Because, okay. I, because I even catch myself, like, scrolling, and I'm like, now why she, oh, that's cute. Like, good criticism and bad criticism. Like, that's all, like, that's mm. what we do. I would catch we, myself and be like, now you done had something to say. Every po- girl just <laughs> Okay. So I'm actually going to get a little off the inauguration, just a little bit, but I'm going to come right back because I know Tisha's about to call in and give us the whole <laughs> overview <laughs> all right. uh, of the looks all right. and all that thing. But just kind of to your point of what we were talking about, and, and I think because, again, we're hiding behind, and not even intentionally hiding behind, but we're behind this, this screen, you know, the social <laughs> yeah. media. And so, I post with I those dogs. Okay. <laughs> That's, mm-hmm. That's hilarious. About. So we're behind these screens, and the issue is that we, we, got, we, we got all this goal, and we're ready to move forward. And so what ended up happening was, and I'm going to answer the phone at the same time. <laughs> um, what ended up happening was 
we uh, oh Duranis Pace. We talked about her mm-hmm. last week. Rest in pa- rest in peace. Right. And um, I was I happened to be scrolling and I saw this post about um, uh, Tamar Braxton. This is very old. Yeah. But but Tamar Braxton had something to say about Duranis's wig when she was on <coughs> Steve Harvey show and like all the way came for her wig. Like I know she's singing, but this wig is wearing me out. Right. And so we're talking about what's funny and what's fun shade. But when I tell you the Pace sisters came all the way back for her and mm-hmm. got her right together because when it comes down to it, it's like we again we're super comfortable behind the screen, but these are mm-hmm. real people. Say no, for exactly. real. Right. It's, point. it's real people. Oh. Oh, so okay. What? <laughs> Thank you. It's real people out here, y'all. For for the WGLB listeners, I need y'all to know what's going on in the studio. Listen, we got a full production team. I need y'all to know, okay? We got lights falling. We got folk on the phone, okay? Lights, and all the things action. happening. So we're trying to move with it. And so I think Tej Boone is on the phone. Okay. Tej, is you with us? Mm-mm. Okay, because did we hang up on him? What happened? Is we moving forward? I think we're gonna we're gonna move forward. So the other thing that I want to get to, you know, and just in terms of the uh, inauguration, did anybody have a chance to actually listen to the speeches like that I that did. Kamala had? And mm-hmm. so tell us a little bit about it. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, I would like to start with President Biden's speech was very inspirational. He quoted um, the national black, black anthem. He prayed in it. Mm-hmm. Um, he gave some scriptures. Um, and he basically gave a, a speech of peace. Yeah. That and that we have to unify and know this is not the me being, you know, sworn in is not the answer right now. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna work together as a unit and that yeah. I can't do it alone. I and love that's that. so different yeah. from our narcissistic mm-hmm. president that we had that <laughs> hit the number four and five. Yes, well, I mean it goes back to his history, like his history in politics, he always worked really close with the black community. Mm-hmm. And he made a lot of promises back in like the late 70s and 80s. So he's kind of showing like... And he made mistakes. I still, right. but, yeah, he but made a lot human. of mistakes. And he's like, I'm still with y'all. Like, I didn't yeah. forget. I think right. that was his whole point. Yeah, yeah right for sure. Yeah. I think we got Tej back on the line. We're going to try it one more again. <laughs> Not Can I answer it? or how, Y'all got to tell me how to work it. I'm live. Okay. Tej, are you live? Oh, Jesus. Listen. Tej, you can't be on the show today. Okay. If that if that was him, that might have been our. Uh, I can't think of his name. But let me just say, <laughs> if he's Tyron. calling, he better yes. talk about these peacoats. <laughs> okay, yeah, come on in. Tej, is you on the phone? You got me rolling my eyes. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I had. I was like, I'm on the camera and I'm rolling my eyes. Jesus. <laughs> Tej, come Listen, on in here and talk about these fashions. The I miss y'all. Y'all are doing an amazing job. Okay. I love y'all. We miss you too. Okay, so the inauguration was was definitely an event. Um, it just felt different. I don't know if y'all got a chance to watch Trump's inauguration four years ago, but it was mm-hmm. dark. I don't remember it was that. Raining. It was gloomy. He said it was. Dark. It was very dark. <laughs> the dark side. It was gloomy, but this Empire. was. It was beautiful. It was cold, and the fashion was. Happen. To die um, for. I don't okay, know if y'all for. noticed a theme throughout, <laughs> yes. but there was definitely a theme. A I don't color, know if they were going to be And they said, um, y'all, so we're going to show up to the inauguration and you need to be all in one color. Solid I, I think as that's a rock, okay? Happened in a group I like chat. it. <laughs> yes, and, group chat. Um, so let's start off <laughs> with group chat. the. I'm hearing an echo, but I'm just going to keep talking in Jesus' name. Um, <laughs> the prayer vigil. So they did. Uh, um, prayer memorial service i think it was the morning or either the night before i want to do that first because they were fly at that um and mm-hmm. madam vice president kamala okay. harris she was dressed in a uh, pyre moss custom coat oh y'all the listen coat she so needed fly. to have that on the vogue magazine yeah. seriously <laughs> it wasn't even just like a regular coat but it had like this little this um paneling action in the back and it had like waves it was so when she walked, it was like swoosh, swoosh. It was fly. <laughs> My <laughs> entire swoosh, mom swoosh. is a black designer from New York. He's an American Haitian black, black designer. I love it. And everything she had on this whole weekend was black designer. So, like, we just love her for that. Um, I'm Dr. Jill, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden I'm had on this first very lady. First Lady-ish um, outfit. It was very purple and very plum with this um, waist cinched in with, like, velvet belt. Ooh, y'all, it was so fly. Oh, it we're was, talking about our forever It was giving me real, 
No, we talking yeah, about Dr. Me. No, not yet. You know, not what yet. You said That's the grand finale. No, you said Dr. Jill. Oh, oh, you talking about before at the other day. Dr. Thing. Jill. Yes. Yeah, so at the prayer memorial for the COVID the victims, memorial. you know, okay. people who lost their lives, yes. they did um, a little prayer service. So let's go inauguration day. Yes. Let's, let's start this. with um, First Lady and Vice President. You know, don't nobody really care about the dudes because it's like they just going to have on the suit. That's, that's all it was. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's I guess Joe it. had on a Ralph Lauren suit. You know, it's real American to him to wear like Ralph Lauren. So, amen. God bless you, Bishop Thank Joe. You. Um, <laughs> I did also but, notice, though, that, that Joe is has been rocking what I call a back bayang. Yeah. <laughs> Not the bayang. And okay, he go does. Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and he does, like, and it's very bumped. Bump. It's bumped at the back. It's not just Baby, a it's bumped. It's bump. He put one of those pink it's rollers bumped. in. I couldn't remember yes. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't had it. <laughs> okay. So let me it's start with First Lady um, Jill. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden had on this powder blue, beautiful coat. It was like giving me real tweed with like a little glitter throughout of it. Where she had this little shawl collar that was fur. Then the neck, you know, the underlay was matching with like embellishments. It was fly. It was, it was fly. That powder blue she had on was fly. It was real first lady like. And um, Madam Vice President, she had on this um, purple. So you know she wore purple to pay homage to Shirley Chisholm, which was the first you know oh. black woman to run for uh, presidency. So that's why she wore purple, to kind of pay homage to, you know, the people who paved the way for her. Um, she also was wearing another black designer, Christopher John Rogers. Um, I believe he's from New York as well. He's dressed, you know, Michelle, he do this all the time. Um, yeah, so they were fly. I loved it. Let's go to First Lady, not First Lady, Madam Vice President, her nieces. So, you know, her nieces are very much so like her daughter. Um, they're always around, all that good stuff. Their children, which are her great nieces, they're all very close. They call her Mamala. They were there, mm-hmm. styled and profiled. Okay. Um, I don't know y'all if y'all remember. Did, did y'all see them? Yes. Me and it. Young, like, I y'all watched it okay. all of it. <laughs> it was, they were, yeah, they were fly. Um, one of them had, like, this turquoise look on, real layered, everything. It was just real presidential. Um, and I, I'm, I'm going to add, so one of their husbands, he was, like, praised by all the sneakerheads, all, like, the streetwear uh, blogs, mm. because he came with some Jordans on. Oh, um, I didn't know that. And, you know, people would be very, like, this man wore Jordans to the inauguration. But these weren't, like, any regular Jordans, y'all. These Jordans, when they first dropped, were, like, $2,000. It was an Air Jordan collaboration with Christian Dior. You guys know that designer. Yes. So, like, it was Italian leather the, you know, Dior was inside the Nike sign. Like, these are, like, a masterpiece. Now they resell for, like, ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. So people were like, oh, my God, he has on the Christian Dior Air Jordan 1. That's, um, you mm-hmm. know, Madam Vice Quite President, true. her her niece's husband, oh. so her nephew, I guess, if you will. So I'm just throwing that in there. Uh, and it was just a major moment for, like, black people because that's just us. You know, we, we do that. We show up to the wedding with a suit on and Jordans, and just, that's just how we do stuff. Okay. So it was good to see that reflected in the inauguration because it's a new day, it's a new season, and just, okay, everything's going to be black from here on and out. It's not, okay, all, all black right. everything, and it sounds like all of this is creative coach approved. Mm-mm. Okay, listen, I'm only talking about the ones that's creative okay. coach approved. Well, you know, creative <laughs> coach approved. Did you like J-Lo? Lady Gaga. Let's go with Lady Gaga a little bit. Let's go with Lady Gaga. Yeah. <laughs> the Hunger Games. But you know, so they gotta Gaga, be, she got to be Lady Gaga, very, Gaga, though. You know what I mean? Like, she got to come with it. It was, it was like, come Exactly. On. It was very dramatic. It was very much so Lady Gaga. Yeah, it was just like, girl, you That's look like you just meant to just be swept up. You just meant to take flight right now with this big old brooch. <laughs> big old bird. <laughs> it was a great big old brooch, y'all. It was big. But that's Gaga. Like, she hitting her in the chin when she sang. It is. But and she I love her beautiful. for it because she always going to be herself. Exactly. Did she? Okay, all right. No. Uh, she did? All right. Oh, oh, oh the shade. Oh, <laughs> and moving on. My man. Jane Give Lowe. us J-Lo, because okay, then we about to, to talk about Trump and go. <laughs> go ahead. J-Lo with this full Chanel look was giving us grace of God. It just reminded okay. me of the grace of God. It was pure. <laughs> it was white. <laughs> it, was, it was perfect in all of its ways. It was. Um, ooh. It was it was good. Okay, we gonna keep on because this is the last one, yes. and this was everything. Our forever first lady, okay, Michelle. Oh, 
Obama. Y'all, when they opened that door and that coat swung out, Bebe. yes, I, I couldn't, I couldn't. I'm still there mentally right now because I'm in there it with was you. a I perfect like look. My eyes and thinking. And oh, we can talk just, though. The hair, everything was perfect. <laughs> Get a moment. Everything was perfect. Get a moment. So it was, it was a, um, another black designer. Sergio. Oh, from head to toe. He, he did the turtleneck. Sergio. Yes, Sergio <laughs> Hudson. He did the turtleneck, the high waist pants, the belt, the coat yes. with all his. She, she works her high waist pants, though. To the it ground. just works her body frame. Beautiful. Yeah. It was amazing. And it was like, at that point, it didn't matter what nobody else had on. She just kind of steals the moment. Like, I mean, that's everywhere she goes. She kind of just commands the attention. And, oh, and, that's and her husband. Knew that's why we too. love her. Oh, yeah. He knew. He knew. He knew. That's why I love that's him. That's her husband. Yeah, he Who's her husband? Yeah. Oh, I'm about to say, who is her husband? <laughs> oh, I won't. And I can't. Oh, my God. I love them both. Though. That's what I'm saying. No, no. He but you know what I felt he, like he, through he all of that? Though, the, the women, I just felt like they were just so... They were so glorious, and uh, it was such a beautiful yeah. experience to see them uh, doing that. And, uh, and kind of what Mia was saying early, even with... Um, um, Vice president. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, just just the way that the the men were escorting them and being mm-hmm. with and, and allowing them mm-hmm. to be who like they it. were. You know, the just design, out there. Like I, yeah. I, I almost, I was, I was, I was like, this is how it's supposed to be. At least that's how it felt to me. Like this is how it's supposed it to is. be, and it doesn't take anything away from them. No, nothing at all. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yep. Security. Okay, I didn't have to add that. Okay, T. Uh, wrap us up. Okay, so uh, what's your wrap rating? I don't okay, know. I'm gonna, what do you thought of Hitler? Oh, Hillary. Oh. <laughs> I definitely, Hillary. let's say, no. Hillary oh, didn't make it to my list. I saw what she had on. I didn't forget her at all. I did everything on purpose. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do Hillary. Oh, she is a middle age. So, well, and they all middle. Middle. She did her pants still? She's still considered middle. I was like, middle. <laughs> I mean, I love Hillary. <laughs> because she always going to give us that signature Hillary with the pants suit. Okay. <laughs> and amen, but she just didn't make the top five today. She didn't make it. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'll add this one thing, and then I'll just wrap us all up. Okay. Amanda Gorman, the poet who did, oh, um, yeah. you know, the first youngest poet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She had on, um, it was just beautiful, that yellow. just I feel like yellow yes. just looks really good on black people anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, this custom uh, Prada coat. But she had on jewelry gifted by Oprah. Like, how amazing is that's that? That's what I mentioned yeah. earlier. Um, I think that that's so amazing. Yeah, and this ring with, like, the Maya Angelou paying how much to Maya Angelou. It just was, everything just worked on the inauguration day. We, You know, we wasn't scared about nothing. It was just beautiful to see. But um, my, my final remarks about the inauguration day fashion was they gave us, I mean, I just felt like after watching it, I needed to step my coat game up. Like, oh, my, coat my God, I literally I, started looking. I don't have enough coat. Yes. I don't have enough coat. I need um, another trench coat, a wool trench coat. So that's coat. what I'm learning. I, I ordered me one. I'm yeah. about to order one. For real. And I'm wearing mm-hmm. all the Y'all same stuff. And then you know what's crazy is. Like, yes. yes. <laughs> and these coats, like, they fit them like a glove. Yes. My coat be hanging off a little bit. <laughs> you can tell they got these coats cut to their bodies. Okay. Like, that's Taylor just a whole May. other level. That, that so, is, yes, I mean, I love I'm it. Black designers, it would have been easy for them to collaborate with, like, rich like Paris, you know, big fashion houses, but they decided to go with small, you know, designers. Mm. If they weren't black, they were still small and women designers from like New York and Massachusetts. So it was just awesome to see. You know, when, once you get on inauguration day, you booked for the rest of your life. Period. Everything is sold out. Wow, so, look at that. It was an awesome day. I love y'all. I love you. <laughs> love, love you too, Tej. Oh, my goodness. So we'll see you next week. And thank All you right. for, uh, for giving us your creative coach <laughs> approval of the uh, what what worked on an inauguration and what did not. Love you. In Jesus' name. Oh, love amen. Y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we got to love Tej Boone up in here. Yeah, so y'all heard it. You know, we, we, we helped y'all out. Because, you know, some of y'all was like, oh, them some pretty colors. But we had to break it down for you <laughs> with our brother Tej. Oh, and he broke it all the way down. <laughs> and so this is what I wanted to move into uh, because we only got about 15 minutes left of our Hot Topics sex, uh, segment. Uh, was Trump's exit? Did y'all see that? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I thought that it was a, j- a joke with the My Way the uh-uh. song. <laughs> Like, he literally was playing. If temper tantrum was a person. Man. If attention seeking was a person. And I ain't talking about the past no more. He's out. (laughs) <laughs> they, like he literally, but but then uh, when somebody chance. did give context, I guess yeah. in when he was first uh, inaugurated, mm-hmm. they uh, I think first dance they danced to my way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Right, and so, so and so, I was actually watching something about it, and they said that um, actually Frank Sinatra hated the song My Way oh, and yeah. hated Donald Trump. Well, you know, and so he was like, they were like, if Frank Sinatra was alive, he would be livid that this is the song that he that, oh, that wow. he used, you know. <laughs> and so I was like, my goodness, the gall and yes. audacity of it all, you know. I'm just so over it. The other thing I was thinking about, too, is he's exiting office, you know, so he got to do his pardons. <laughs> one, one that I thought was hilarious. Oh, actually, uh, Stephen, you shared it on your page. That's where I saw it. it you talk Lil a little Wayne. bit about it. No, not Lil Wayne. Joe Exotic, the Tiger King. Yeah, well, that's who did it. He Listen, did not. That he was, was mad. Sad. He was so upset. So basically, okay. he already set up a limousine. He, th- he felt he had some clout with the president. So he had a limousine at the prison ready to pick He's him up. Sword. He had hairstylists, yeah, yeah. makeup Hairstylist, artists. everything, ready to, like, make his appearance. Oh! And Bush and, and um, Trump didn't pick him. And, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. the part that made me die because he I had limos. So, <laughs> yeah. so the point of that is do not spend your stimulus check before it <laughs> arrived in no, your account. Wait, <laughs> did y'all get your stimulus check? Because I didn't get it yet. Are <laughs> oh, we talking about the new one coming? Oh, you didn't? Oh, I didn't you... even get the old one yet. What's wrong? Oh, well, you can need to Where see your that? tax prepared. Yeah, it's still with the government. Mm-hmm. It's where the money resides. <laughs> no, it's too late it's still now. With the you have to. Um, Why well, it's too late? It, yeah. the, the date is too late. If you Whoa. have to do it by the fifteenth. You have to tell uh, them that do I didn't it as a rebate it? now. No, when you do your taxes, your taxes. yeah, oh, it's wow. actually. Yeah. Yeah. You should have done it, and it'll come. No, back. this time when you do your twenty twenty taxes, you have to. Cause I, I was helping someone with their taxes, and they didn't get their stimulus check, and they give you an option. Did you get your stimulus check? And they had to answer no. And so now it's a credit to you. So now yes. you get money back on your tax returns. But now they pushed oh. it out to where they're not processing taxes until February 12th. Anyways, you're going to yeah. wait a little bit. Yeah, they oh. always, it's usually, that's about on target, where they actually does, do not, they're accepting yeah. e-files, yeah, but they usually, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. 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 so, so, so it is still first send off first I'm, process. I'm talking yeah. about waiting for the uh, stimulus yeah. check. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You were supposed to be <laughs> had this on the first. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be March or March, April, depending on that first. I'm going to check into it and yeah. see what the heck. Yeah. Did you change your bank account? Look, change we all, bank mm-hmm. we're trying to problem you solve your passion. stimulus check. Look, and I'm trying to think through the time I moved. And the la- my last oh, stimulus snap. check, I got in the mail. Oh, oh snap. Yeah, and they're not going to yeah. forward that. Dang. Which oh. is a good thing, yeah. I- I've you got to it. call some people on Monday. For sure. <laughs> Okay, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> that got, listen, I, I that probably got help somebody personal. else. They're like, oh, I'll, that's what happened to mine. <laughs> okay, so the part is, what else I wanted? Oh, and I just, you know, a little part of me, I don't know. I just, I mean, I already kind of knew, obviously, that, the, not even kind of, we knew that the prophecy uh, that the folks had, you know, the Paula Whites of <laughs> has failed. But, I mean, I was thinking about that. You know, I, I put, I hopefully the photo will go up of those, the false prophets. <clears throat> you know, so well, how do you think they feel then? Oh, sorry. Well, oh, actually, you? a few of them are salty because I, you know, I think I played that the last week. Yeah. Those, and he that was one. so upset. I mean, cur- you cursing people. What? No, yeah, yeah, that, no, that this, one. There was this one lady. I think she was just like just a regular Facebook user, but she got on live crying like, "God, help this country. This is our country, and the devils that are coming for it. Trump, if you can do anything, please help." I said, "Baby, Trump can't do nothing." nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she was crying like bawling, bawling. Aww. On her life, like I don't understand. Her. I wow. don't understand. Like the, these, like people are just so. I don't. I've never seen any type of presidential, you know, kind of election mm-hmm. where people are That's in and out of where, like where people are that. It is so <laughs> demonic. That's why it I is. Like it's the Man, I, I know I got this. This person on our top five. You doing too much moments of the week, but I got to talk about it a little earlier now because just because in terms of Trump. So I was I was coming down. Oh, I guess what should I save it to later? I'm gonna save it to later. Save it. I'm gonna save it to later. Save it. Save it. Because yes, I want you to have your raw uncut reaction. I need it. Because with the people losing their their, their minds, you it's know. It's not this deep. I'm no, like, it's to the point where it's like there was a post saying, "Look at all the people that Biden allowed to die in his first day of office with COVID." Oh, I'm yeah, like, I saw that. Yeah. "Dude, really? Are we pulling that? Are we pulling that one?" Yeah, or, or how about like, when like, Trump was building this wall and all he got is like three yards done? <laughs> like, let's talk about that. You want to talk about something? That's how much that. was paid for. Like, <laughs> and, 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 and let's talk about that because he ain't handle our money right either, and I don't like it. Because <laughs> now they just walk around the wall. I feel see? like I feel think, like Trump was a mess. I feel like Biden gonna be paying uh, ties off of our uh, government money. <laughs> this man is gonna do right. Okay. Wait, we did not talk about the preacher. Well, preacher talk about, Be- I Beeman. It. Talk about it when he prayed out. I, I don't today. know. I need to now follow this guy that I thought Ooh. he did such. 
He's apparently a friend of President Biden, black man. Um, I don't know if he's a bishop, apostle, whoever yeah. he is. But I called his last name. He's anointed of God. <laughs> he's anointed of God. Okay. <laughs> At least, you know, I don't see him praying any curses upon people. Okay. If, you know, anything Ever. happened. And you know, so. Because yeah. that's just but I was going to say, that leaves a nasty people. taste in a lot of people's mouths who aren't Christian. Because you have him on one end, and you have on the other end the, the evangelist, the, the, the white evangelist oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And it sounds like we're very confused when it comes to who God is speaking to. And you know, so and no, yeah, it looks really yeah. too bad on us. Well, like, he didn't do any prophets. He well, no, prayed not in his for, case. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing about it is that um, you know, he just he's been friends with him. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's like you know, one of my friends they calling me and asking me to on, pray. I like that. Right. I love yeah. that. I was going to ask about that too though. So yeah. what do y'all think about, you know, cuz now we got the regime, you know, like <laughs> like this is these are the folks that are in office with Biden. So you're saying it really does feel right. like, you know, this well, flag. It feel like an Avengers movie. It do feel like yeah. a little and bit Trump of a Avengers movie. And Trump Thanos, because he orange. <laughs> oh, wow. Trump is Thanos. And he real mad and upset. Because he is probably but purple we, underneath, and he has the orange. That everybody. is crazy, and what about it? Because... <laughs> but no, I was thinking about that. We got black women, we got Latino women, we got just... I um, like mm-hmm. it. I, with all kinds of folks. Now, There's there was gay. one, uh, and I don't know if I have yeah. this, but... There's all types of people. Who was, it was a doc, a person, they did uh, elect a, a transgender doctor to the, the head of first, something. Yeah, you saw that? The very first a transgender, yeah. Yeah, and honestly, I, mm-hmm. I I don't think that's a bad idea. You know what I mean? Because and so, some people, of course, are just like literally going crazy about I it. I mean, let's mm-hmm. take the religion out of it. Yes. We are reaching out to everybody. It, it don't matter who you are. Can we work together? Right, and to think about it, especially when you start thinking about medical (laughs) issues and things that might arise, Mm. you can't work on a transgender person like you work on just a a male Mm. or a female. Like, you really have to know the body structure and and what's been reworked and we put together, you know, all of that stuff. People just, y'all take... Y'all focusing on the person too much now. Yes. Well, like a friend friend told me, you have to respect people's choices. Like, we may have our spiritual or moral view on it, Come but on. they're here. So it's like, okay, everybody know. deserves to be like the Hippocratic Oath. Everybody deserves to be tre- healed or treated if something is wrong. Exactly. For sure. And they're here. So it's like if that's the choice they, they made, what do you do when they're sick? Mm. What do you do when they need surgery exactly. or need blood? Like you have to care about them. That's who we are. Like yeah, still human the, beings. Yeah, the condemnation and God part still ain't on us. Them, period. Exactly. Yeah. And quit trying yeah. to play God. Cause worry about yeah. your own self. What did you do? Okay, worry about all your. Ooh, we. That's a whole thing. I just did want to read this real quick though. Um, before we go to break. So back to kind of what we we're talking about the transgender doctor. So Biden selects transgender doctor Rachel Levine as assistant health secretary. And so this is Larry saying, uh, Larry Reed saying, uh, this isn't surprising to me because Obama pretty much embraced diversity, particularly the LGP, uh, L- yeah. the wrong, LGBT community um, and women of color. Uh, he said, poor Biden. <laughs> he wants to unite the country and all, all of us to sit with each other along with our differences, but it's going to be harder now than ever before. And that might be the case, but well, should, should someone not try? Well, I would say even the side note, like one of the first things Biden did was reverse the DACA stuff with the people oh. over the border. So, oh, right. Yeah, like okay. he did that like tw- exactly. day one. Right. So as far as diversity, okay. he's like, he, he ended he ended the Muslim ban, yeah. which I didn't even know was still going on. I didn't either. Right, yeah. but he wow. ended that. Countries. Yeah, he ended all of that. So as wow. far as like you said, the America unity. could be on one. Okay. We are seriously <laughs> on one, but now <laughs> we, we got a lot. Biden <laughs> and uh, Kamala Harris are uh, and VP Harris. That's right. There you go. <laughs> Has uh, they they had a lot of undoing to do. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness, guys. Well, that's been our hot topics. We was all up in the inauguration for a full hour. <laughs> <laughs> so if you didn't see it, you definitely heard about it uh, on Save the City Radio Show. So we'll be right back with your church announcements after this. You met me deep in my despair. To show me you would never leave me there. You claim me cause I was made for so much more. I am a child and I'm worth fighting for, though heavy with the weight of my mistakes. You carry me and refuse to let me sink under the pressure. 
You're meant for me to soar, I am your child. And I'm worth fighting for. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. All you have planned for me. And nothing can separate me from your love when there's so much more still worth fighting for now i'm moving by faith and not by sight towards victory by the power of your might you're straightening out my path and opening every door i am your child and i'm worth fighting for eyes haven't seen Years have been heard all you have planned for me, and nothing can separate me from your love when there's so much more still worth fighting for, and that's why I'm pressing towards the mark because the calling on my life is worth fighting for and i keep my mind stayed on you jesus because the peace it brings is worth fighting for and i'll be faithful for my wife and children because my family is worth fighting for know this word is not my home, but your kingdom here is worth fighting for. I got a mansion over in glory, and my new home is worth fighting for. Till I see it, I'll shout hallelujah here, because my praise is worth fighting for. Hallelujah, 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 life with you is worth fighting for. Hallelujah, 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 life with you is worth fighting for. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, all you have played for me there is so much more still worth fighting for
it's all because of you and no it's not mine to keep so i lay it at your feet all that i have love i give it back to me oh i give you my feet so i Are back. You are locked live to the Saved and the City radio show right here on WGLB AM 1560, 96.1 FM with your girl Iberia and the Saved in the City radio show crew. And you should know exactly mm-hmm. what time it is. It is time for our church announcement. Church I, I feel announcement. like I need an organ right need there. A, I told you we need a song. I really wish I had like an old mother or old deacon voice to read <laughs> all of the announcements for me. But you're just going to get my voice on today. Okay? And you're going to like it. Okay? And you're going to like it. <laughs> So and uh, and also remember that if you do have a church announcement and and mind you guys we we call it church announcements but it could be any kind of community ha- com- community happening or anything that you have that's going on yeah. as inspirational or where people can support you definitely can send it to us at saved in the city mke at gmail dot com yeah. and we'll we'd be happy to announce it right here on the radio show. Uh, so okay this. Saturday, so Pastor John Hanna out of New Life uh, Covenant Church in Chicago, uh, they uh, every year at the top of the year they do uh, these weekly prayers, and so they they open this year with praying for singles. They pray for married couples. Mm-hmm. I think this last Saturday pr- they pray for men, and so this coming Saturday they're going to be doing a prayer exclusive. You know, but where are your-
your goal is. I'm like you can it, literally it. come in and clap for nothing. I'm gonna I'm gonna add you to it. I feel like Please you want to be part because I feel like somebody needs to rejoice me for not hitting the snooze button. I'm telling you, like you literally can come in and then people. Now what I love too, because you could just come in and clap yourself, but then other people be clapping for you too. I, I, love, like, it. I love it. I love that's it. That's cool. Me. So um, but that's Emerald Mill. So she's over diverse dining, and so this is one of her groups that's connected to diverse dining. And so right oh. now she's just uh, celebrating and announcing authors. Okay, up next, oh, here we go again. We'll have to announce it again. I can't say this name. Alafia. We're going to go with oh, that. Yeah, Alafia. Yeah. Uh, Ala- uh, Alafia. A A L I F I A. Jesus. Women. The A women. The Pray A there. women. Bless Lord. Bless work, them, Lord. Okay, it's so the host <laughs> uh, is Dr. E. Azuma, MD. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, they are putting a break on trafficking. And this is January mm-hmm. 31st. 2 Amen. through 2.30 p.m., and you can just uh, connect with them on their Facebook or their YouTube page and just search, and I'm going to spell it, A-L-A-A-F-I-A-S, okay? And it is sponsored by uh, Brightest Town and Prime Solutions and also Rebirth Hub. Okay. All right, what else we got going on? Uh, agape love. Yes, I hear the uh, the <laughs> hands getting excited. Yes, That's Stephen. Okay, the Agape Love Network. Some of these we did uh, mention last week, so you can't say we ain't told y'all, okay? And so uh, the question is, how can you love yourself more? Well, come uh, on the agapelovenetwork.net right. and uh, see the chat with myself and Omar Lillies. Uh, he's actually out of New York. Uh, it's so funny. He inboxed me today. He was like, people think that I'm from Wisconsin because you're on the show. I was like, what did I say problem? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be talking about uh, my newest book, 365 days of loving you. It's okay to clap for yourself. It's all right, okay? A whole author up in here. All right, and then uh, lastly is dating tips. And uh, it's healthy and uplifted, helping women flourish through life, presents dating tips for couples and singles. And I'm sure that the dating tip for the couples is for them to date each other. You know, just in case somebody was thinking uh, outside of the box. Okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I just feel like I I felt that in my spirit, like I I needed to clarify. You You felt felt right. Right. And and here's the the pieces during lockdown. So dating tips during lockdown, which I think is pretty cool. And this is February uh, 7th. Uh, 2021, uh, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. It's a virtual summit. And we'll make sure that we put this up. And then also there is a link where you can go and purchase your ticket. So it looks really amazing. All right. That being said, that is your weekly church announcements. No worries. Your brother Tej will be back with the announcements next week. Because <laughs> he does such an amazing job. And um, again, if you have announcements or community happenings that are going on, please do not hesitate to uh, email them to us. And we're happy to announce them oh i just thought about that as i was going because mm-hmm. the sister and and if you could send it to me before the actual day of the show okay oh, yeah. okay yeah. because someone literally did just message me and let's see just because i told her yes and i try to be a woman of integrity come on i'm gonna try come on what i say i'm gonna do it uh-huh. okay <laughs> don't hide me up little bitch i'm uh-huh. I love it. Uh-huh. okay let me uh-huh. see if i if i can find it now listen i may not be a woman of my word if i can find it <laughs> and, uh, uh, tried, uh, i did try did i try uh, where, no, where is it, Laura? Okay, I tried. I tried. I will post it. She I will tried. post it because we got to keep it moving. All right, guys. Well, that's been your weekly church announcements. Now, we're going to move into one of my favorite segments, and this is an opportunity that we're talking about clapping for yourself. And now uh, we're going to talk a little okay. bit about clapping for other people, especially for those <laughs> in our community and our city that is doing amazing things. So I call this segment my Milwaukee Treasure Segments. And this is so funny because usually every person that I decide I want to call out for a Milwaukee Treasure do not want to be called out, okay? Oh, they, you know, because a lot of times they're, they're not doing what they're That's doing, cool. you know, That's for cool. any, you know, real accolades. Obviously, you know, we want to achieve something, but they're doing it either because they're driven, they're called, there's a purpose, there's a connection, there's something that is uh, that is a driving force. And, you know, it, it's God. Hello, hello somebody. Oh. Okay. okay. And so that's where they're doing it. And so usually the glory is going to go back to him. It's so hilarious because I already felt I felt I was about to get real churchy, but uh-huh. <laughs> but Bridget, <laughs> Bridget was like, "Okay, you get your." I'm laughing, okay, and that's all right. So I want to bring on my sister. She is this week's Milwaukee treasure, Bridget Price. Come right, on in, right. come on in. You here? Hey, thank Hi. You. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I first want to say thank you to Iberia for this opportunity. Yay. I don't take it lightly. 
you know, when someone open up their platform to you, it's humbling. So right, right. thank you, thank you, team. Okay, team, we <laughs> out here. We Look, we packed up in this, <laughs> in this little studio. Thank you for trusting us in the blood of Jesus in the room in the whole pandemic to come and chat with us for a little bit. And Bridget, you know, the, the, the interesting part is that Bridget and I have known each other really kind of off and on for a really long time. Yes, and before yes. kind of both of us kind of moved into the media world, I was a musician, singer. I think I remember you and Ricky coming to, I forget what, I, I want to say it was, it was a number, like 361 or 3. It was some type of little chicken place or whatever, child. I was, I was performing on the bass and, and... It was a little club. It was a little club. <laughs> she wasn't saying that. We was in the club, child. It was a lounge. It was a lounge. That's what I'm talking about. Dude tried to sugarcoat it. Time out. Hold on. What type of in a place with a number. I don't I said remember, the place though. The, but no, 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 no. I really couldn't remember the place. But now that you said lounge, I feel like the number came. I think it was like three, three, so, it was a number, lounge. It but was I, a number. The three hilarious. Three or so, yeah. But that's hilarious. I was like, it was a chicken place. And I don't even know if they serve chicken alive. Okay. <laughs> but we met, we met. <laughs> Y'all funny. We met in the music scene, right? And so that's, and the, the, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because the grind has been for a while. You know, yes, just trying yes. to figure out, and not even just figure out, do, doing what what we love right, and right. so uh for those people who don't know you kind of take us on a journey you know sure. of of who you are kind of how you got into um, music talk about that mm-hmm. you know was that your first love and then what brought you into speak music radio for those people who know that or don't know that and kind of what brought you to where you are today sure i'm gonna try not to be long go ahead <laughs> but, um, give us what you got yeah so <clears throat> so I have musicians. My dad is a musician. My mom is a musician. My brother is a musician. So music has just been a part of my life. Um, And I have family members that are actually in the industry in some type of capacity. So um, music has just been just a part of my life. Like my grandfather, he just passed away, bless his soul. But um, he's a musician. He wasn't like, so music has just been something that was in our family. It's in my bloodline. So um, how did I start Speak Music Radio? Yeah. The short version of it was, um, man, this is going to be hard to say. So I'm a really quiet nature person, and, and Iberia knows this about me. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm very soft-spoken. If you actually meet me in person, I'm not this loudy, typey right. person. On, on, like, but here's she the thing. Is. Online, though, she's hilarious, you know, and yeah. just personality is overflowing, you yeah. know. And yeah. then, like she said, though, you know, she like she, she mentioned she's a bit of an introvert, which yeah, is, like, sure. so cute. Because <laughs> I mean, like, but she's a whole powerhouse, I, like, I for real. Really, she came here real soft and gentle. I like it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, so, so, you know, and um, I have a backstory about, like, my voice. It started early. Like, there was a lot of insecurities with the way I sounded. I had a third grade teacher. He used to say, your voice carries. And it built the insecurity in me. So, like, early on, like, um, it's weird. Because early on, I didn't really think or didn't know that I was going to be using my voice to speak. Mm. Um, So, it ended up, uh, I was actually working for the IRS, how Speak Music came, became. And I was driving, that would be my time to pray, because at the time I was working in the Pewaukee office, and y'all know that's a far drive from Milwaukee. And so, that would be my time to pray. I was in prayer. I heard the Holy Spirit tell me to quit. It was absurd to wow. me. Oh, you about to bless somebody in the studio, but go ahead. <laughs> you turn. It was, it was really something that I just was thinking it was my mind. I was like, this, this is crazy. I love this job. Everything about it, the perks. I was mm. traveling. There were so many perks about it. it. At the time, I had twin daughters. They were younger. It just fit my whole mm-hmm. schedule. So I knew I didn't hear God. My flesh knew it yeah, didn't hear God. Yeah. So I said, well, if I hear that again, I don't know if it's just me. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to take it to the Lord. You right. know, I'm going to keep praying about it. Praying again, heard it again. I'm like, and then when I heard it the second time, I said, God, I can't do that. Wow. I just, that's not what I'm going to do. Fast forward, um, God had his way. I'm not going to go into that story. I ended up stopped working for the IRS. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. And after I stopped working, um, I sat, sat at home for about a year applying to jobs. I do have an undergrad degree in business management mm-hmm. and a master's degree in mental health. Mm-hmm. So I'm applying to jobs. Didn't nobody called me? Just yeah. applying, applying, applying. Nobody called me. Um, my husband said to me, "Are you hearing from God? Like, <laughs> is there something?" And yes. I'm like, you know, I felt a different tug, but I, I, I think my flesh was yeah, just right, battling. Right. Um, because I've always been like really 
into education and for sure um that's just been my that's heart. a big leap people don't yeah. really realize you know yeah until, until you take it and be looking back everybody's like yeah jump jump and then sure. it'd be like you yeah <laughs> right. and your family like okay what are we gonna do now <laughs> right right <laughs> right and that's typically how god does things, yeah like, right, you know right. that's how but uh Ooh. so this particular year it was 2007 2000 i don't remember the year because it's pivotal but i um my cousin she works in the industry and um, she was like, girl, I'm working with this artist, this artist. You should come to Nashville. Um, I was like, yeah, I'll come. So I just went to Nashville yeah. um, because, again, music, you know, music right. is a thing. So I was sitting at a particular person. I'm not going to name drop. I was sitting at a particular. N-D-R-E. No, 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 no. I was sitting I know, at. Look, I know. I'll be knowing the names that she. <laughs> well, okay. just tell me when. The, uh, okay. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting at. It was a radio after party, and it's a huge. It was a huge event at the time. You can name, You can drop one. Go ahead. No, I don't. Want okay. Yeah, look, okay. We um, <laughs> I was at. I was at a, a party. It was like a, a radio party, okay. and I was sitting there. Didn't know why I was there, but I was enjoying my cousins yes, and all the yes. people I knew. Sure. And um, I literally heard the Holy Spirit again, and he gave me the name Speak Music Radio wow. while I was sitting there. So I came. Thanks, God, <laughs> in the middle. like and, Right. So I come home, and it bothered me. I'm still, I, I got the name, and I'm still looking for jobs. Yes. I'm still not getting a call. Yes. Not even mm-hmm. a call for an interview. Right. Nothing. Mm-hmm. So then I take it to my cousin Chris, and him and I started talking, and he just confirmed a lot of things that God had showed him, and that's just kind of how it came to fruition. And from that point, I just kind of slowly hit the ground running, mm-hmm. but that's just kind of how Speak Music Radio was birthed. I absolutely mm-hmm. love it. I know she was like, I'm going to say this in yeah. a little way. Yeah, well, yeah. good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great job. No, because a lot of stuff, honestly, I, I, don't, I don't think I really knew. So yeah. this, is, this is actually really, really interesting to me. Sure, sure. And so I think the other part that I want to just make sure that people are aware of, because Bridget is not going to toot. She is not going to toot her own horn, so I'm going to toot it for her. You know, <laughs> like she is absolutely amazing, right? And so the other reason why I wanted to shine light on her is because, like, when you think about the gospel industry, especially coming out of the city of Milwaukee, mm-hmm. like, and you think in terms of media, name one person. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay? Okay, I know y'all like, what's that in the city radio? Oh, yeah, of course, right. that is in the city radio. Right, right, right. okay. <laughs> but other than that, though, like, honestly, like, Bridget has been doing it, qu- like, quietly. Like, you're like, oh, wait a minute, she's, is, oh, she, is that sweet. her with Kirk Frank? Oh, Wait a minute, is she with DJK? I'm like, y'all don't, do y'all see this sister, That's right? Dope. The first time I got to go, okay? <laughs> She's trying to hide herself, WGOB. Oh, Listen, no, I absolutely, I love it. And so, and the thing is, and humble, and if you will really yeah. take time to get to know this sister, she's like, like, okay, yeah, no, this is how you do it. Okay, you know, because some people are like, well, no, I don't know who you, you know, like she really is still humble That's and cool. open and, and ta- just so talented. And so the very first time I got to work the red carpet in, tw- in 2019 yeah. at, at Stellar Awards, terrified i was just like what in the world am i doing and why am i wearing heels i'm so exhausted <laughs> like I, i'm not cute i don't feel like being cute. like this is my first time and then i i uh, i think i don't know if you spotted me first or i spotted you, i can't remember but when i saw her i just remember I, I really wanted to start crying like okay i see somebody i know you know i'm she, out like, here she like really embraced me i was like <laughs> i was <laughs> like and you was like okay well okay take pretty much like okay well you all right you know <laughs> so we got our picture or whatever and it just felt good because i was like come on milwaukee sure, that's really right. kind of how i felt like sure. okay so. we're out here doing it and so that's why i wanted to uh you know give her this uh milwaukee treasure award because she really is a treasure and too many times especially in our mm. city yeah. what we'll do is wait till somebody You'll is un- completely right. untangible right. okay right. and then be like oh yeah i knew her oh she funny acted da, da, da. why you ain't call her why you ain't have her on the show why you ain't da, da, da. you know what i mean why you ain't network why you know yeah. and so that that was a big part of it so. and so um, I salute you. I Thank see you, you moving Thank and you growing. So and so what? So from Speak Music Radio, and a lot of people uh, really became t- uh, to know it because of what your uh, work with indie artists. Yes. So yes. talk a little bit about your passion with indie artists. Sure. And then uh, BB, Authentic BB, sure. and where that kind of came from. Yeah. Sure. So the indie artist part, uh, my brother Corey Webb, he has been an artist for since I can remember. <laughs> And uh, he ended up on BET Sunday's Best, like the first or second season. Mm-hmm. That's my blood brother, same mama, same daddy. Okay. People be okay. like, my bro, it's my Here real brother. <laughs> so uh, he went, when I began to see the, the, the grind, and um, even in my associations with a lot of artists that are now like big, mm-hmm. like they're big now, that I watch, like a lot of oh. a community of people I know in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, 
I just noticed that I just didn't like the the hard part of it. Yeah. I didn't understand why, like you were saying, I didn't understand why people didn't see their sister or their brother and say, let me help you. Yeah. What do you need help with? Or at least, hello. Or wow. something. Like, it's crazy. Or like, something. They don't, won't even speak. Crazy. Or something. Shout out something. So, so I think right. that's where the passion came yeah. from. Um, mm-hmm. Seeing my brother work so hard. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he got that big opportunity. And that's the passion kind of came from that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I love it. And so where are we now? You know, sure. so is it still Speak Music Radio? Are there other, because it seems like there's other moving pieces that maybe, there, is that the BB Speak part? Yeah, um, the, so Speak Music Radio is still up and going. Okay. Um, we are in the middle of transitioning it into something a little bit different okay. than just an online radio station. Sure. Um, so that's kind of where the BB come from. And my oh, cousin okay. Chris, shouts out to him. Shout out because Chris. Because Chris is, is, you know, he's part owner of Speak Music Radio. So he, we do everything together. You know, it's not just a me thing either. Yeah. But um, so so we're building, we're, we're reconstructing it. Yeah. And that's just because God has opened up different doors yeah. <laughs> that I didn't expect. So um, it's not just going to be an online radio station anymore. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, I love it. So what is, I don't know, and I'm about to ask a question. I'm like, oh, I don't think this is on the thing. No, it's well, okay. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> okay, so what is, um, what, out of, you know, your journey from then until now, like what's, sure. what's like, one of your most triumphant moments? Like, one of the moments you were like, oh, I think I cracked the ceiling. Like, or I think <laughs> this is the right move. You know what I mean? Sure. Wait, can you explain that just a little yeah, bit Yeah, no, because, you know, like, initially you 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 left your job. Like, that was a big deal, I right? Did. And so sometimes you when after you make those types of transitions, you got some regrets. Sure. Right? And so sure. then that's, or sometimes there's a moment as you're joining, like, yeah, 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 this is what I was sure. supposed to. So what was that aha, like, yeah, I did, like, okay, that was for, you, for real you got. Well, for me, early on, God started moving, mm-hmm. and he started – even though a lot of my family members, like I have cousins and stuff yeah. that work with artists, that wasn't something that nothing was given to me. Yeah, right, right. connections, anything was given to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for me, that aha moment was when randomly God, I think it was an uh, not an That's email so or a DM. Somebody DM me and said, "Hey, I got these artists. I, I see what you're doing. Can you interview?" And from that point, just God sent connections. That's huge. So mm-hmm. I, I think for me is. God showing himself and proving it. Come and so, yeah. the, you know, and it mm-hmm. didn't take long. It didn't take long for me to see. Of course, there were some down moments where I was like, now nah, what you doing now? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. you always have to, your flesh, it gets in the way. But, you know, I think early on when God began to move, because I didn't have, you have to remember, I just had a business management degree. Okay. I don't know nothing, like. Out here. You know, okay. I don't, yeah. I didn't know anything. Right. And, you know, and. You know, I like jargon. Like, I, mm-hmm. you know, I like to be real normal. I'm trying to be professional right now. But, you know, <laughs> I love jargon. Like, yeah. so it was weird. And, you know, so I'm not really a well-spoken person. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, so just for me, it was just God opening doors immediately. I'm telling you, that's huge. I, I, I get that that's because, you know, at, at some point it's like, like you said, there are those moments where you're like, okay, now, wait a minute, it's a little, okay, a little, the, the barrel look a little empty, Father, sure, you know. Sure. But as you're moving through, it, it'll be the one person that, like you said, send the DM. It's like, oh, you see me as a person that's valuable. Exactly. For, our, you know, for, for artists to channel through or to exactly. be, you know, be, for to be a platform for. Or, you know, you know, it could be something that you said and someone says, well, whatever you said, bless me. Sure. Like, even if it's just one. Like, sure. it, that's that, that, that sure. crumb that you need Absolutely. to keep moving. Sure. So I love that, and I love you, Bridget. Oh, oh thank my God. You. Thank you for coming on. On, you know, amidst everything. I think before we go, though, I did want you to touch on because the other reason why I wanted to bring you on too, we were talking about the inauguration at the top mm-hmm. of the show. Sure. And you had an opportunity to what? Now, what did you host the event, or you were just doing media for? No, I just the, covered it virtually. That's I, exciting. I, yeah, mm-hmm. I got a chance to interview. talk about what that event was, though. So um, basically, it was the Joe Biden's uh, inauguration gospel celebration. Yeah, it was oh. huge, like yeah. national level. Like, yeah. were you able to catch the show? Or? I didn't see. I didn't no, see anybody, uh, much okay. of it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it was a link that was you had to pre-register. It right. Was a nineteen dollar. Like, oh, and this is a flyer. Yeah. <laughs> I missed it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was like a nineteen dollar um, fee for it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was, I had access to all of the artists and you had Marvin Sapp, you had Leandria Johnson, you had wow. Dietrich Hatton, 
you and had, you got an exclusive interview with or were an interview yes, with Dietrich. Yeah. With Dietrich, um Ty uh not Ty, Todd. Wow. Um an artist named Jokia. She's I don't want to say she's up and coming, but she was kind of new to me. So, yeah. um, and then Titus, um, I can't think of his last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but That's amazing. Yeah, so it was all of those artists, and um, when I got a chance to interview, we had a, it was crunch time, so I had a little window, so mm-hmm. I was doing interviews from sundown to sundown. But it was a great experience. Um, I got a chance to watch the show. Yes. It was just amazing. So yeah. I, I love it, and I, I really wanted that to come out because, again, if we think about your journey. Sure. Starting from not knowing, okay, well, God, well, what are we doing until now? Like, yeah. literally, you're covering, like, this they're not this is historic. Yeah, sure, Right? And so sure. now your, your name is written in, like, for, you know, the books, if sure, you will, sure. you know? And so I think that that's absolutely amazing. I see you. I celebrate you. Thank and you. I'm so Thank excited you so that you could join us on Save the City Radio Show Thank as you. our, this week's um, Walkie Treasure. Thank <laughs> you so much. How can they uh, get connected with you, Bridget, and all sure. the things you're doing? Sure. If you can connect with me at, um, can I? Can I give out my podcast name? For maybe? sure, yeah. Yeah, so I have a podcast called BB Talks right now, and um, it's really, that is kind of my baby right now. I so it. check it out. It's on iTunes, sure. iHeart, Spotify, anywhere. Just download. Make sure you subscribe. You can also check me out on Instagram, uh, BB the song Ritter. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, the Ritter? Okay. Yeah, it's not right. It's Ritter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ritter was taken. Right? Okay. Um, <laughs> that works. So, okay. Okay. Don't worry about um, it. So, Follow me on Instagram, and um, I'm always on Facebook. I'm not a Facebooker, but I'll post. I do have a group on Facebook, BB Talks. So get connected. Yeah, get connected, please. I'll make sure that I post all of those links if you would just send it to. I mean, sure. some stuff I can just access though too, sure. and I'll make sure that we post it in our group so that you guys can get connected to this amazing sister. Now listen, don't don't act like I didn't I didn't give y'all the plug now. Yes. No, when she's untouchable, right. don't be mad. Don't, don't miss this uh, Don't exactly. Don't miss this <laughs> opportunity. No. Uh, so again, we love you, Bridget. Thanks Thank again you. for joining us. Uh, WGLB listeners, we will be right back after this. Ever since I can remember.
Oh, and we're back. And I said we're back with the top five you doing too much moments of the week, but we're supposed wow. to be doing the Word Up Challenge. Wow. Oh, yeah. that's really what oh we're you know what? We, oh, <laughs> because the wow. timing. Okay, so we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what, Sharice, you haven't been here, though. It's okay. That's okay. Come on back in. Okay. So we gonna, we're not going to go to break, though, in between. We're going to keep it moving. Is y'all ready? Though. Okay, Word oh. Up Challenge. Have y'all been doing y'all? Uh, <laughs> that's Bible what I was waiting to hear. What's y'all Bible streak? What's going on? Where y'all at? I ain't even going to lie. Your girl been sick. I done missed the day. You they ain't, ain't read a damn word. They got, oh. back on, they got me back on day five. Wait, but, oh. uh, but it's hitting in your heart, though. <laughs> it's hitting in my heart, and okay. praise be. All right, and I just want to say congratulations <laughs> to all of our winners last week. Um, What we going to do this week is y'all going to get some new prizes. So we got some waist beads going out to you Ooh, that's okay. okay. Is that holy? On the, on the, go- oh, is that the holy? gospel station. Is that holy? Waist beads on the gospel station. No, it station. is because, listen, I bet you Jesus <laughs> was in good shape walking all around. Amen. All but Jesus didn't have Amen. no waist beads. I don't think. No. Uh, and now we're talking about health. <laughs> health is wealth. It's, and exactly. And it's the latest season waist beads. Bridget, is, is waist beads holy? Uh, well, woman like, of God, I, woman my name God. is Bennett. If you got to ask, if you got to ask, Ooh. we already know that. Maybe they're not holy uh, for uh, you. Church. They're not holy for uh, you. Don't be convicted about it. Oh, they, I wear them. No. You can get some waist beads because the actual I, true order, like the origin, you ain't got to go with all of that. Okay, the, the colors the are, you know, yeah, there's an origin the to the waist beads. But what it's used for now at this point is to track your growth. But it's an African girl that made them. Exactly. But But the thing is, like, yes, it's tight around your waist. You, you track your, your weight With loss. loss. So when yes. the beads start oh, falling, nice. it, it, it's like a motion. No, I want some. It's okay. like, okay, you my beads is falling. I'm you want to participate in the word I'm telling you. And challenge. that's what they did, I'm okay? I'm not good at and the word. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all are ready to open up waist beads, so you best get this trick. Amen, amen. amen. Okay, that's it. Okay, All right, is y'all ready? Jesus. Focus. All right, so y'all, y'all know the Lord know who we are. He, he, He's a familiar with our makeup. We are made in his image and his likeness. But Uh-oh. there is a specific phrase, I should say word, used in the book of Psalms when they know when, when they talk about God knows that we as human are what? What? You got to say that? I feel like Ooh. I'm missing the whole question. question. is a little confusing. God is familiar with the makeup of, of his creation. He right. knows us in and out. Yes. God right. knows our character. God knows our personalities. Yes. But. God is forgiving and so patient with us because he knows that us as human, we are what? Mere oh. what? It's a word. Oh, okay. I yeah. think I, I would follow. Like, I, I would have won. I don't even know that was a question. Like, I still don't feel like a it's question. It's the missing word. All right. It's, yeah, yes. it's the missing word. Yes. It's I not need the, the missing word. We God knows, according to the book of Psalms, uh-huh. God is familiar with our makeup. And as humans, he knows that we are mere... What's the missing word? What's the missing word? Give, give How many number. letters do I have? Ah, Miss Mia. I know the answer. Oh, I know the answer. I can give y'all the answer. I can tell y'all. I can tell y'all where it is in song. Is it wait. five letters? Give them no. the phone. Give them a phone number so they can call in. Okay, <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. I need the number so they can call in. We ain't got all those fine over here. Oh. If y'all want to oh, yeah. call in and answer, oh, you guys I got the absolutely phone number. can. While you guys are thinking <laughs> about it, call it at four one four five seven eight one five six zero. If you know the answer. I will state this question one more time. God is familiar with our makeup, and as human, He knows that we are mere blank. What I, should, should I drop a hint? We just said y'all googling. Yes, y'all can find this in Psalms 103. Okay, the okay, number yes. is four one four five seven eight one five six. Zero. Go ahead, come go ahead, on. That's, I have That's to do that. That's my job now. I need you to record that Listen. for when I'm not here. Listen. <laughs> I love it. on this. I love yes. it. I love it. Are Alex, y'all ready? Alex, 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 Is there some kind of like trademark to it? Oh. Say the phone number again in the middle. 414 578 1560. What's the question? The question is. What's the missing name? What? What? Tell me this word. What are we compared to in Psalms 103? Does anybody answer on Facebook? Let me look. No. Alex Trebek go get you, though. No. Uh, well. Child, he better not <laughs> give me. I'm going to have to speak in tongues. No one <laughs> answered on Facebook, just, and we have to review it. What is you doing here, baby? Okay, well, Bridget, what is it? You get to win the prize. <laughs> oh, you just going to win the prize. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 should I give the entire verse? Did I stump y'all? No, no. Uh, give yes. the entire give the verse. verse. Are we mere okay, mortals? Psalms 103, mortals. 14. What? 
What you? I'm um, sorry. Don't say it because I'm gonna put it on Facebook. Cause like so last week, what ended up happening when when the person oh, didn't get it, we yeah. did put it on Facebook and somebody won. <laughs> yeah. After so I threatened I'll, them. I'll announce it on Facebook <laughs> and then if somebody uh you know somebody yeah. put it the first person that posts sorry. on the thing, you will win the waste beads. Yeah. Thank and it God. took like two hours because I had to threaten to take I know, the prize. I know. Right. Yeah. It take a minute. Like right. <laughs> we not. If, are we getting it? We not getting it? What I think we not getting it. We not getting it. Dang. She. Look, I thought it was mortals. No, ma'am. It's not mortals. It's not. No, ma'am. Near mortals. No, ma'am. Sorry. I thought that was the answer, too. I'll give y'all Wait. another hint. What? Ashes to ashes. Oh, okay. Duh. Oh, Duh. Duh. oh, look. Oh, now we. <laughs> and I will read you this. And I'm going to give you the waste beads in the car before I leave. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Psalms, yeah. Psalms 103, 14 <laughs> says, For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. We got to break that down. Oh, yeah. that's a whole. That's because a whole word. That, because that, that, um. Chapter well that psalm I guess talked about God's patience with ah, us. It, it explains His patience with us and how ah. pretty much why are you so hard on yourself on your good day you are as filthy sure. rags. Oh, you know He knows mm-hmm. that you're dust and He Got knows it. that you're weak. He He understands your makeup. Uh, Ooh, and He also a woman of God. Yes. Yes. Listen, this is firecracker right here. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> she was riding up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, my God. So, Sharice, uh, cl- uh, close them out on the Word of Channel, but we're not going to go to break. And, and, you know, tell them to read their Bible because, you know, they... Listen, they we need, I, know, I know some people get offended when we say read your Bible And we mean the paper one. But I mean, like, we want you say maybe I should change it, like, read your Bible intermittently. Like, just read it. Do, if y'all want to do a Bible plan, go ahead and do your two-day Bible. Do something. Okay. You got to have the Word because times is crazy. Come on. With that Word I've hidden yeah. in my heart that I may not sin against you because okay. the wages of sin are death. And we want you to Ma'am. live. We want you to live, okay? Yeah, and amen. I'll see y'all next week on the Tribute Channel. Okay, but you better Bibles. look. She look like she about to leave. You better yeah. sit right there. <laughs> <laughs> All the new, okay? <laughs> and so that was your Word Up Challenge. So, again, guys, we do this every week. It's your Bible trivia and your opportunity to win amazing uh, amazing things from our amazing sponsors. So we've right. done the Waste Beats this week. We we had Bling Dum, Liz Coleman of Bling Dum for last week, her T-shirts. And we've had Funky Fresh. I was going to say Spring Rolls. Yeah. Funky yeah. Fresh Spring Rolls. Rolls. Yep, we'll have, yeah. Oh, Ooh, I have my mama cake. The best one. <laughs> yes. Ooh, but guess I do got some other cake coming. Your friend, Ooh, uh, uh, Bishop, Bishop Sweets. Yes, yeah, Bishop Sweets. Yes, listen. he's going to. But don't, don't tempt the folks. They fasted. Well, listen. Thank that's what you. I'm just saying. Oh, look. Why is somebody <laughs> trying to call? Listen, we're going to take a call. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you're oh, on the line. Oh, on it's in. too late to call in for the win. Well, well go ahead and give it a shot. I was gonna figure out that word was one was uh, Psalms one hundred and three and fourteen. It was uh, he knew that we was weak because we were dust, right? Oh, but you're right. You yeah. right about it. Yeah. We just had a whole message. Well, we just had a whole message on it. It's okay. Listen, oh, you, you late, but you right. But you late, but you right. But let me tell y'all something. Delayed obedience is still disobedience. Let's keep going. Oh, what? <laughs> so <laughs> wait a minute. Who, who are we talking to? I think y'all so would call it that. Wait a minute, y'all. We got a whole caller. Calm down. Okay. So, uh, sir, who we have on the line? We have Theo Carney on the line. Okay, Theo Carney. Yeah. Well, you actually did Bible. get it right. Uh, uh, Bridget, did you want the race beads for real? We got a few. Well, Theo, do you uh, want y'all to let, win? Y'all should let me win, period. Because you know, like, You're, you're right, right about it. So uh, stay on the line, uh, Theo. We're going to have to get your Theo. information, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll have you come into the station uh, uh, next Friday to pick up your items. All right. Thank you so much. I'll stay on the line. Okay. Stay on the line. <laughs> Wait, wait, what you went with? You went with me very loud. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to a quick break and we'll be right back after this. She said, "Do we? We on air? This that new Kiki exclusive, y'all. Hot, fire, let's go. I did it all for the first time. Made a mistake, but I." On the front line. Yeah. I'm over the pain if I'm dancing when I wanna. Please don't judge me if I'm smiling when I'm under. Please don't judge me. I just ran through the fire. Please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. I just walk in the wire. Please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. I don't know if you have noticed. I'm doing me and I love it. I just ran through the fire. Please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. If you don't give me no hands. 
by the clothes I wear. Please don't judge me by the songs I sing. Please don't judge me by the way that I'm dancing. You know God the only way can judge me. You know that I'm feeling so free. I be chilling, I just do with me. We turned up and we killing this beat. Go ahead and get on your feet. We are locked live. <laughs> say, I'm like, where are we? I love our crew. Y'all doing too much. Too much. Okay, first of all, the entire crew <laughs> is doing too much. Okay, that's true. Everyone except for me. Yes. Okay, but let me. Can I tell the people where we are, please? Just because some people might have just tuned in. We are the Saved in the City Radio Show crew. It's your girl Iberia. We got Sharice Cannon, aka Firecracker. We got Stephen Holder, aka the Homie. Okay. What you, what, what's your little thing you say? Be cute. Oh, well, oh no. it's me, it's me, it's the H O M I E. Oh, he be so oh, ready. Okay. He do this every time. He practiced it. <laughs> I love I see. it. We got our guest host, Mia Lot, holding it down uh, in place yes. of our amazing Tej Boone. And we got my sister, Bridget Price, sitting hey, in with us. Yeah. Okay, what you say? We all we got? What you say? No, I said, she said hey, y'all. Oh, yeah. hey, y'all. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, y'all. And we're actually, what, 15 minutes out. So we're going to try to get this top five you doing too much moments Knock of the week in. <laughs> and so this is this is the opportunity that we take just to help the people out. You know, because people won't tell you when you're doing too much. They'll talk about you behind your back. Yeah. So we like to <laughs> we like to help you out and let you know when you just might be doing too much, right, so that you don't, so that you can adjust in the future. But, again, these are the opinions of us, <laughs> or at least of me and or depending on the person of, of whoever else it is, but not the opinions of the W. GLP station, okay? <laughs> All right, and so number five, I'm calling it Burli Buffoon. Oh, he gonna call Girl, in. He can call in that. because he was a whole fool. <laughs> so what was happening? In. So I was literally leaving oh, my work, uh -huh. okay, I and I was driving down Burli, and I got to about 60th mm -hmm. in Burli, mm -hmm. and there was a young man. If you're watching on Facebook Live, Whoa. then you will see the young man that's walking back and forth. Yeah. With this, it was I've never seen a flag this big in my life. Huge. Mm, it was huge. <laughs> and it said Trump on the flag. Yeah. And then it also uh, said stop the BS or something like that uh, in terms of the uh, inauguration. So the, the brother just wanted to be seen. I literally mm. put a post up on Facebook and I said, if um, attention seeking was a person, yeah. then it totally Charlie, would have been him. He yeah. was marching along the edge of a BP sign. Yeah. Like oh, if he slipped. About it. Like he if almost he slipped, fell. That was it. Yeah, <laughs> like I he was just bushes. He tripped a little bit. That ankle <laughs> yeah, went did. on him. Yeah, I'm telling you, you see it. Right? Yes, I saw it. Okay, y'all see it. It's like snow. It's yeah. literally crazy because, but the, you know, he was walking on that ledge, yeah. and then he literally jumped down, and he was like marching in place. He was yelling at the cars, and so in my head, I'm like, this is inauguration day, like. You're doing too much, sir. And so the thing is, and then it turned out when I posted the post, it was actually somebody's son. I was like, ooh. ooh. I was but, like, they came for you. But I was like, go get him. 
Because he's doing like, like, literally. Like, I was like, and I was like, and I said what I said, go get him. This is, this is, this is too much. Like, so this is an African-American young man up and down the street, right there on stage. Like, what are you doing? Go get your children. Like, seriously, this is too much. Because, and I, I know it's funny, but on the other side, people crazy. Right. Yeah, like so, either he, so, so, somebody, people, somebody might think he got a gun. Somebody else might have like. And it's 60th and Burlock. Right. Exactly. And, it's, and it's 10 degrees. And no, it's 10 degrees. No, no, it was warm. But he was dressed in like a full like little, little what you call like a army, army something kind of no, whatever. Get up, you. bless his heart. Mm. That's all I got to say. So that was number five, Burlock before. Like so, that sometimes the, the, the stuff be like real at real at home. <laughs> like, <laughs> Milwaukee, get your children is what I said on the thing. <laughs> okay. All right. And so number four. Uh, this is called Super Coattail Riders. Have y'all ever heard of Super Set before? Mm-hmm. Somebody, a lot of people don't like her. You know who she, she is? So like she Super. basically made, um, she r- r- started as an entrepreneur, you know, and then she was doing something. She had went viral. Uh, uh, she was like viral yeah. on, um, Instagram for her, cause there was a wave of like story times. Like that was the That's big it. hashtag Thank story you. times. Yes. And she was like. Like everybody loved her on story times, and then she leveraged that, and now she is the entrepreneur of Crayon Cakes, which is a makeup line. She made a mm-hmm. million dollars the first day. The first drunk, day. And now she's Good a real Lord. estate investor. Oh, like it's and, a whole thing. And she got like this heavy Louisiana accent. We it's just heavy. love it because yeah. she just like she comes off, you know, down to earth. Like she's yeah. thank you. That was a great way to to describe her. And so so super scent is what she calls herself. Yeah. And so I started following her not because I mean the story time was sometimes. Uh, Hilarious, always inappropriate though. So, I'm, listen, I'm not recommending the WG GLB audience go look up Super. Uh, yeah, don't watch her, you know, no, 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 okay. <laughs> so, anyhow, though, but so she uh, she's a millionaire, right? And so, there's a lot of people that I'm just noticing. I'm like, these folks is really riding her Kurt yeah. coattail. Yeah. And so, I so I don't know, have y'all heard of the guy where the money reside? Yeah, yes, you heard okay, so, so where the money reside, where mm-hmm. the money. Was I. So that became super that popular. Trunk. So he crawls out of the trunk. Okay. So y'all, I'm gonna tell you real quick. So he, this guy, selling cars. Mm-hmm. So his way to get people interested in coming to him, he crawls out of this trunk to this beat, and he has a song that he made up called "Where the Money Reside." Where the money reside. Uh-huh. And then he has all the deals for the cars. <laughs> and so what ended up happening was he he was from. Um, from I think Louisiana, some yeah. part of where Louisiana, where yeah. Super Scent was from, mm-hmm. and she saw his video that he made. It's like super corny, like and it's hilarious, and it's it's just I don't know atten- he was attention to get his getting commission. exactly. He was yeah. trying to get his commission. I wasn't yeah. mad at him for that, for, not at all. So Super comes to his uh, oh. to his dealership and buys like a big name car. Mm-hmm. So his commission is crazy off yeah. of that. Oh. So he is geeked. You know, he's like, mm-hmm. oh my god, where the money was at? And so somebody was like, oh, Super, you must be where the money was at. Right. And so, but Super is super humble through the whole thing. Yeah. So now, this dude, I think his name is Daryl, mm-hmm. has gone completely viral off of this oh. where the money was at. And so I was on his Instagram because I followed him after Super had did the thing. So I was on his Instagram and he was saying, um, he was talking about how I know what people, you know, uh, I know people think Super put me on, but she didn't put me on. And I was like, oh, so I just, I just had, I couldn't help myself. And I normally, I normally don't even comment. I just look and scroll. But I just, my fingers was like, I know y'all can't see them, but I just couldn't help. It was like, no, but I was literally, I just put, um, Super, uh, I said Super definitely helped with the expansion. That's all I said. When I tell you. Him and his goons have come for me completely. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I thought you was where the money was at. You got time for little on me? Oh, what was they saying? Let me see. So, basically, they said that I want attention. Mind you, I haven't, <laughs> mind you, listen, I haven't commented since. I commented once. I said, um, I think Super, you know, I said, it's definitely helped with the expansion. I never said that, da 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 All his goons have come for me. When I tell you that I'm still getting hit off of the thing now, and I was like, and I literally have not responded back. So, I'm like, y'all got that much time? Well, they send you DMs? Or just commenting back? They, they uh, just comments. I, I, look, they might be in my DM now because all the comments started yesterday. <laughs> and I was like, y'all, could y'all please get I mean, and so the whole thing is fine. 
you know, he was like, no, I already, and Super came on, and she was like, no, you had your own viral thing, you know, you was going and going. I was like, she being humble. She yeah. was. Because I didn't know, I would have never followed you. And because wow. that's her friend, he was just in her kitchen eating crab legs and with her the other day, so whatever. No, and that was, that was a big deal for him. She invited him to her mansion, yeah. Yeah. okay? Yeah. And so I'm just saying, just give credit where credit's due. Right. You know, it is right. what it is. Because the you other so person, me okay, that's all. And he does say thank you, but I mean, everybody feel like they got to, don't it's okay. Like, yes, is where she is because she's humble. She's super humble. And the other person that's right that wrote her co- coattails <laughs> was but so secretly y'all know what I watch and oh, who I look at. Here she goes. I love he, Andrew Caldwell. I watch. I can understand. I don't I actually watch that one. He's my yeah, favorite. That that was, was, I, I can't stand. I don't watch it. When you go live, I gotta watch it. I love him. Like I have. Do he purposely? Pronounce wrong, words yeah, wrong, said, like no, it really annoys. Like he has a, <laughs> it annoys <laughs> me. He kept saying her name. Like, yes. so I love it. And I, I feel like he's genuine. But anyway, um, I mean, ish. No, like I think he. I don't know. I think he's just confused. But he's hilarious to me. But anyway, so basically, Super put a video up of him. You know. And, and it was his video, so I, I get why he was like, girl, no, you didn't put the video up for me. And I don't know why I had to give that accent, you know. <laughs> like, I don't know why I call it an accent, because it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, so he, she put the video up. <laughs> she put the video up, and so then he noticed yeah. that he she put the video up where she was trying to Man. make. She said, oh, some, if you get buy one of her products or whatever, it's going to make you slap somebody like somebody almost slapped Andrew Caldwell. Uh-oh. And and he went crazy he did. off of that, he right? Did. So then now back, they're back and forth. When I tell you by the time their argument was over, Andrew normally, this is how much I watch him, I know his like, <laughs> so he's normally about, a, a, probably about 400, 500 people on Instagram, depending on the day, about, you know, 1,000, maybe 1,200 on Facebook. Uh, when people are watching, mm. baby, he's 4,000, 5,000 mm. after Super. And I'm like, y'all, like, I need y'all to know. Saved in the city radio tour. Oh, right. Right. Okay. She, she might, you know. I, you know what? Ooh, I should call Super. Tell okay. Me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, uh, so the whole thing with the who's doing too much, I'm just saying the whole thing is fine. You know, he everybody's going to help somebody, you know, at some point. But just give credit where credit's due. That's that's just my, that's my two minutes. He did too much. He took it too personal. No, them goons going at her did too much. Oh, that's baby. Yeah, that's, I'll, that's I'll post it. I'll post right. what they, I'll post what they said. Uh, Cause we we only got what like yeah, like ten minutes. That's crazy. Minutes. But Andrew Caldwell is delivered. He is, he is delivered. <laughs> okay, let's see if I. Ooh, I got to whip through these three. Okay, okay on, Mike Murdoch. Murdoch. Did y'all hear what happened with Mike? No, Mike Murdoch. What Let me see if I can with find it. Happened with who? See, this is why y'all got to know ahead of time. Wait, what I thought y'all was looking, so y'all can read for me. Hold on, let's see if I can find it. Uh, Mike Murdoch. Mike Murdoch. I know I got it somewhere. Jesus. Mike Murdoch. Ooh, uh, what's his name? Um. You gonna have to read Matt. it for me. What's uh? What do you say? <laughs> Cause you got it on the screen. I think President Trump and his family for everything they are giving to the United States of America. Could you read it in the microphone? <laughs> you want me to read? Oh it? wait, wait, wait! He pulled he it up. Said, he said, "I thank President Trump, Trump and his family for everything they have given to the United States of America. Never forget." We all love you. Just relax. Whoa. Just relax. And so uh, uh, we're back on the, the, this whole white ev- evangelical thing. And it's just like. <laughs> America's I unworthy. Everybody's they unmasked. That ain't my friend. And, that's, and we just going to keep it moving on that just because we ain't got no time. I ain't got. Yeah. I don't have time unworthy. for you, Mike Murdoch. I used to watch Mike Murdoch. He, he used to come, Mike Murdoch. He used to come on and like. It'd be like 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> he went up with like a pink tie or whatever. Somehow, <laughs> I'll be like about to donate. When it was you roll, when you went, oh, be rolling over. I don't know how it happened. Though. He'd be rolling over. I was like, what? Yeah, right. <laughs> and you catch your kitchen or something. It was always that. Okay, let's keep it moving, y'all. We trying. We trying to keep it moving. Okay, okay. All right, number number two. So I'm going I'm to keep going because this is back on Andrew. So this is badging. And so this is Andrew Caldwell and what he's doing now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. So he making people pay for badges. If you pay for badges on Instagram, because, you know, you can pay for badges on Instagram. Yeah, no. mm-hmm. But then they'll, he'll follow you. What? But this is the part. This is the piece. I don't think Andrew too much doing too much. Who's doing too much are the people paying for the badges. The clout chase. Looking for him to follow him. And then they mad because he, he don't follow them. Like, he's not about to follow he, all of y'all for doing this. So, I'm helping y'all. Stop buying badges. I'm not going to say that. Because, listen, I want, I, for some reason, I'd be wanting Andrew to get his money. <laughs> wow. Wow. Because I'm like. At this point, I'm just going to exit. 
Because you, you just be up in this mess. I feel, like, I feel like Andrew could be my friend. Like, He's uh, at hilarious, a distance. though, I would give him. At, at a distance. distance. <laughs> like, not, like, yes, not for real. Yes, I was like, real, please, like, at a distance. I, like, if we was at a event, like, and I would sit next to him. that's why you just go stick to your lives. Exactly. But I would sit next to him at the event. If it wasn't COVID, then I would laugh. Okay, but anyway. All right, the last thing. Oh, mm, this one. Ooh, that's who deep. can pull it up for me or show oh. me real quick? So number one is King Reality, or do you know? Because I think I got it off your page. Oh yeah. King Reality. The daughter. It's on the screen. Something. Can you pull that up again, Kiwan, before we have to go? Uh, Kiwan, don't. And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's oh. Slow Line. It's oh, going okay. Viral. So this is uh, King Reality. This is number one. I thought this was real important because I know mm. it was gonna be real silly. But this is Dr. King's daughter. Oh, so, you know, we yeah. just celebrated Dr. Martin Luther King's like day. And she father. says, please don't act like everyone loved my father. Mm. Come on. Come he on. was assassinated. Help us. Uh, a 1967 poll reflected that he was one of the most mm-hmm. hated Correct. men in Help America. Most hated, she repeats. Mm-hmm. Many who quote him now and evoke him to deter justice today would likely hate and may already hate the authentic king. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. So that's a harsh reality. What am I saying? Am I saying that we shouldn't celebrate Martin Luther King Day? No. But at the same time, I'm saying, y'all, let's just be real. Like, if you same. love somebody, love them. If you don't, just be 100 about the whole situation. But I think but that's the harsh reality about a lot of this stuff. Like, yeah. I think that, you know, as we're moving through society, you know, we look back at history. Is history really what they say no that's what that's it's what not. i was right? thinking what are we what? teaching our children what are we really well, teaching? i had a friend yeah. who's teach the the kid's teacher mm-hmm. was like martin luther king was great and he died and <laughs> like my Stop kid, right there. okay my, my friend's son he's just he excuse me he was killed <laughs> okay exactly. he didn't just die he was killed and exactly. so like, like that's the whole situation let's speak the truth my I mean, goodness. Yeah, normally I get mad how people do Malcolm more so than Martin. Like yeah. Malcolm, they'll talk about, oh, he's militant by any means necessary. Yeah. I'm like, you didn't follow his whole story. You don't know no, Malcolm. It wasn't not. like that at the end. No yeah. way. In fact, he tried to team with King and other and people that, and that's when to they promote take you out. peace. Right. <laughs> right. But they only see that chop, and it's like, it fits your narrative, so. That is crazy. I don't like it. You guys, we had to kind of whip through this one today. But these these have been your top five. You doing too much moments of the week. Now, before we go, you know, we're literally at the end of the show. And I can't leave you without your kingdom solution because we have a lot of fun. But I want you to have some <laughs> sustenance to take uh, along your way. And so uh, your kingdom solution, again, um, kind of like your final thoughts. <laughs> Somebody like my Jerry final thoughts. <laughs> crazy. When Red used to be in that bathtub. Yeah. Like, okay. Oh, oh, that used to. <laughs> Who's in the bathtub? No, we will not. Listen, I'm about to get some real scripture. <laughs> y'all, I won't. Thank you. Please listen. Get some real I'm scripture. trying to help the people. I'm gonna leave y'all. Remember, we, we talked about going forward. Listen, no, don't don't listen to Stephen. Listen, we talked about going forward at sorry, the top of the sorry, show. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so I want to leave you guys with this: Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. <laughs> Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. So we got all this stuff going on, but God will make a way. I love you guys. We'll see you next week, Friday, 6 to 8, right here on WGOB. For the past two hours, you've been listening to Saved and the City radio show. Follow us on all of our social media platforms at Saved and the City and visit our website at www.savedandthecityintl.com. Check us out every Friday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. right here on WGLB AM 1560 and 96.1 FM. WGLB airs programming that is paid for by independent sponsors. WGLB is not responsible for any of the content of the programs. WGLB AM 1560 96.1 FM W24.